Yeah, the MCG. Is. So the Meningi Cricket Ground, or it's the Meningi Football Club, or it's the Kuron Cats Football Club. They've got a few different names, but uh, we're about to witness the first semi-final between Imperials and Maipalonga. The winner to advance to a preliminary final next week to take on the Southern Mallee Suns, who uh, just went down by 10 points yesterday to Jervois Football Club. They're into the grand final. And in the box, we've got uh, Alex Button. How are you, Buttsy? Good, good, mate, good. Pleasure to be here. Exciting day. Really looking forward to this one. Team's just out there in their uh, warm-ups at the moment. Matt's just doing his exercises. He's doing a bit of Pilates, a bit of... Uh, just taking the cardigan off. Doing a bit of a stretch. And uh, in your stand-up pose, so you're in your normal idiosyncrasies. You, it's your pre-match warm-up, is it? Your ritual? Just yeah, standing up? Just not just to stand up and get a feel for what's happening out there. And what I can tell you is it's a magnificent vibe here today. We've had some great games, and, and we started off in the under-13s this morning with just an absolute cracker. So, um, yeah, but I just feel that uh, got, there's no excuses today. The, the, the conditions are perfect. Um, both sides almost at full strength. And I think for the first time this year, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Mopo have gone in unchanged, and that'll be the first time for the year any league side has done that. I just want to ask the camera to pan around to the Imps warm-up. Just uh, seen a lot, a lot of their warm-ups, but they do a bit of, can you explain a bit of this, Butsy. What's this all about? Just bit of, a little bit of match simulation, get you used to a bit of body pressure and, you know, a bit of traffic around the footy, just to make sure you're really turned on. All right, so they're just going through their final preparations, both sides. We'll be crossing to Jimmy shortly when the captains are whistled in for the start. We're probably a few minutes late. What are we, right on 2.35, so we're running about five minutes late as norm. As Which we had a draw today, so that... We did have a draw, we had to go extra time, so as we cross out to uh, Jimmy now... Okay, Jimmy, yeah. over to you, mate. We see Louis D. Michel uh, heading in for the coin toss there and just waiting for Michael Longer. Just keep that microphone yeah. down, Jimmy. That's the boy. <laughs> no, down. <laughs> just playing with you. Uh, just playing with you. That's the idea, mate. Let's see well, I mean, why would I, want to, why would I want to follow your instructions if you support Port Adelaide? Yeah, just, let's leave Port Adelaide Ooh. alone. And, 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 and you're not following those instructions. Oh, and, and Kuron Cats, who okay. are... Playing drop the in the league. Okay. Drop okay. the microphone down, okay, Jimmy. Jimmy. Focus now, focus. So both captains, obviously, shaking hands, doing the old natural good, good game stuff before. Louis D. Michel has won the toss and he's told Todd Housen that Mike Poe will be kicking to the right of your screen and they'll be kicking towards the town end. The town, will be. The town end, so left of screen, Imperials now. Jimmy, you were pretty good yesterday. Uh, we gave you about a seven and a half. What do you got seven, now? Seven and a half. This one, I don't think it's going to... I don't think it will be as good, but it's up to you guys to... Uh, All right. So, with it. what do you call a group of killer whales playing instruments? What do you call a group of killer whales playing instruments? Right, what is it, Jim? An orchestra. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Give that a fist pump. Come on. I like that. Chainsaw. I want a chainsaw. Yeah. Give us a chainsaw. One chainsaw. Yeah. Just one. Yeah, yeah there, okay. you there you go. There you go. All right. Thanks to Crowey's Paints and Jimmy's Joke. We'll just get on with the uh, proceedings here. So, Butsy, I bet you've never been entertained like this before. Incredible. Incredible stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You pay a lot of money through the gate to, to get that. <laughs> so, um, Mitchell Leonard's coming to the side for the Blues. Big in. Yeah. Big in for the, for the Blues. They probably lacked a bit up forward last week against Jervois. A uh, bit of a one-man show with Johnny Boris up there, but Mitchell had a little bit of a uh, dynamic presence in that front half, that's for sure. Sam Blitch is there, um, obviously recovered from that, that popped shoulder, so let's hope it stays heavy for him. It's heavily, heavily strapped, strapped here, he's yeah. on the wing in front of us. Uh -huh. a classy player, as we know. We've got uh, Fritsch Lee, uh, we've got Elliot and, Hine. and Hine, Josh Hine coming to the bench. Blues have got uh, Dallitz. Didn't quite catch the other one. Might have been Mole. Mm. Looks like Nathan Dash has gone straight to Klusky. Yeah, not surprised about probably that. Probably run with him. And I wouldn't be surprised if Stegmaier puts a bit of time into Jack Penfold here as well. Yeah, look at Gogol. Gogol and Davies. Davies. So this is interesting. We're about to get underway. Second semi-final. Charlie Kirshner over here on Sandwich for the Tigers. We're underway for the Swampwood Hotel. It's the first semi-final. Tapped in there by D. Michelle. Gogol's wrapped up solidly by Davies. We're going to in there. Gets a handover. Player grab without the ball. Play on. They say, no, the umpire has picked the free kick. 
Penfold didn't have the footy and will receive the first free kick of the day. He's got someone short. Harrowfield. Harrowfield goes long. There's a lead out forward. Looking for Dement. Does it stay in? Or does it beat him to the line? Needs to get a handle on it. Does just in. So that soft ground's probably held that bounce up. Looking for Norman over the top. Swooping on it for the Blues is Mole. What's he done? Dismissed everything. You see straight away that uh, Imps have made a couple of changes in, the, in their lineup this week. Uh, Harrowfield's gone forward. He played down back last week. Montgomery's gone down back. So basically those two have swapped ends. Yeah, and I think that's a good move as well. Nothing wrong with that. So Gotch just comes into the centre. Harrowfield. Oh, Harrowfield, strong hands. Big, big game player is Harrowfield. Off to Gogol. Gogol onto the left. Just pulls the kick. Oh, and dropped the mark was Dalitz. Oh, uh, and what's he done here? We're coming quickly. The ball's in the square. It's in the hot spot here. My probably just going to rush it through. Are they all over the you? That was almost a big mistake. Wow. Blues look like they're on song, uh, Butsy, for the they opening are, minute. Their, their body language looks different to last week. They really look up and about early on. That was Dallas. Uh, was, um, yeah, it was Dallas. Dallas. Yeah. yeah, it was Dallas. Stegemo with the 40 at, at half back. Bit undecided. He's going to go long now up the line. Just sits it up. Gives a bit of air time. Bury in there. So is Mills. Microphone head gets it back. Looking for... Just Davies going yeah. through. In this hop, she's caught. Dropped the footy. And high. he's going to get a high, high contact. Sticky Nicky. Hasn't got a lot on. Riley Robbins has dropped forward there in the middle of the ground. But he just goes long up the line. Look for the big tall timber in Mills there. Good punch away. Montgomery's first onto it. Gotch has got him. A couple of tackles there. And we have the ball up. So straight away you can see Imps have obviously done their homework. Maipo last week looked to move the ball by foot and chip it up at uncontested marks. Imps are really cutting that off and forcing them long down the line early. The ball in. Play with the ball is Gogol. So a few starts. A few stop and start play. Dean Michelle, Mills. Over the footy in hard. It's Gogol, so he's getting in there, doing a lot of the bullocking stuff there. But see, good sign when uh, Gogs is in tight early. It means his confidence is up in his body. Gogol again, down in hard. So it's just that uh, little sit in time, Matt. Yeah, I think both sides are going to be nervous. Won't take long, but both experienced clubs. I'll get rid of it pretty quickly. And what's the umpire picked Dangerous here? tackle. Dangerous tackle. So, big Louis D. The, the premier ruffman of the league. Goes long down the line. Robinson, big uh, spoil from behind. Stegmaier at the bottom of the pack, and he's wrapped up super fast. And we're just in magnificent conditions here. At Meningi at the MCG. Really solid crowding since there's no netball today. Penfold didn't have it. And my foe, this is the game they bought last week. A lot of pressure around the footy, a lot of tackling pressure. So if they're going to be a chance today, they're going to have to keep that up for four quarters. Absolutely. So Tusky's trying to break the tag on Daish. Up now, De Michelle used his body beautifully. He took the ball out the air, gets it forward. Dement, oh, full he's strength. down. Yeah, now he's back up straight away. Beautifully done there. That was Morris for Maipo. This is Davies. Swings around. Norris shanks the kick, but Stegmaier has to get down low. Quick hands from Stegmaier to Klusky. This is Klusky at full burst here into the four pocket. Looking for Sticky Nicky. Homs, big mark from Homs. Good mark. Good catch. Fast ball movement through the middle. Handball receive, and you're able to get that in deep to a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, Dace running the tag on Klusky got caught having to tackle Stegmaier, and he released the ball to Klusky. Mm -hmm. Now, the question is here, does he go check side, or is he going to go a straight drop punt? It's a pretty shallow pocket down there. I wouldn't yep. be surprised if he goes drop punt. Let's see what he can do here. Sticky Nicky. Bit of a favola right to left. Fade to uh, Butsy. He's kicked it nicely, and he's yeah, got it. Yeah, Pomps has got the first goal for Maipo. 
goal in that corner. That's a big goal. Quality finish. And like we said, um, Maipo pushing a spare or an extra half forward up into the stoppage or higher up the ground. And it is leaving Montgomery free, but because they had speed on the ball inside 50, they were able to get it over Montgomery's head to Homps one-on-one. -on -one. He took a great grab and kicked a great goal. So now with first goal there to Maipo, Imps just the one behind. So just wait for the players to sort themselves out. So six minutes into the opening term here at Meningi. Ball hits the deck, going through his Gogol. Solid tackle there from Wagonet. Playing a sweeping role in there at the contest, Ben Gogol at the moment, and doing a really good job, not getting sucked in There's too much. There's a free kick. Stegman was giving away a free kick. It was on Rance, got him high. Over to Daish. Daish has gone forward there. Just drawn Klusky with him. Here's a kick. Looking for Boris. Oh, Luke Harrifield's Harrifield. taking the mark. Oh, Running with the flight of the ball. Good answer. Gee whiz, how good was that, Putsy? That's not bad. And wow. You know he's always going to go back like that, Luke. He's never going to oh, question that. Fearless. <laughs> Fair income. Bordering on silly. Yep. Yep. What I did like there, though, was Nathan Daish got forward um, on Klusky. Made doing him that accountable. Job. Yeah. Yep. Just makes him... Think about he has to defend as well, and not just worry about mm -hmm. trying to run off. So Harrowfield lining up from 45. Stabbed at that one. He's got it. Good goal wow. to Luke Harrowfield. That's an opener for the Blues. Wasn't convincing, was it? No, I thought he must have just uh, pushed it to the right post. Here it is on the red up replay. He's on early too, Luke. He's had a few touches. And I do like that he's gone to half forward. I think he's more dangerous there oh, than down that back up. Absolutely, 100% agree. Sandwich to the sidelines. And uh, on comes Dalitz. Braden. We'll see plenty of rotations today. Pretty, pretty warm out there. So and it is a soft track too. So who went out for, for Braden to come in? Braden played last week. Well, was it Cole then didn't play last week? Cole yeah, didn't Cole. play last week. Right. So now we'll go... This is um, Penfold. Penfold sticks it inside 50. Looking for the tall timbers. Goal, ball comes to ground now. It's a race to it. Nicely done there, Lucas Young. Possibly might have been Jaden Mole has gone out, has he? No, he's in here. Well, yeah, just he's on the list here. Doesn't mean... Uh, Gaz Williams, did he play last week? No, no, he didn't no, play. He did he? We'll pick that Someone's up as we uh, go. <laughs> know our stuff here. So we, we'll work it out. Yep. Oh, we got a, and we, I think we had a squad of 22 from, from Imperials. That was why we potentially haven't got the exact 21. So, another stoppage here. We're on the half forward on the uh, commentary side. So we're eight, almost nine minutes into the first quarter here. We've got a high tackle. It's going to be going uh, to uh, Altman. They've dropped off Klusky there. Oh no, Dace is back on him. Yep. So Altman comes long onto the wing right in front of us. Louis D sitting out a beautiful mark. mark from Big Louis. That was fantastic hands from him. Just used his body. He's going to move it on quickly now. Louis D. Louis goes long inside 50. Where's the big body taking the mark? There's no one down there. Looking for Boris there. Can't see him. Mom school. Yep, great work, Lucas Young there. He was outsized, but just brought the ball to ground and then was able to follow up and put some pressure on. But Imps are setting up really well behind the ball here, making it hard for Maipo to move out of their defensive half. So they're bringing in Maipo through Klusky, going a big, long, nice oh. drop punt outside there. Punts away from Marsh. Gets it around the corner, Rance to Sky Ball. And a safe chest mark there from Lewis. Lewis lifts the eyes. It's up Davies. Davies inside the 50 in the back half here. Looks to go long to a pack. Fritchley from behind in front. Lena can't get the mark. Hits the ground running eh, with the left-hand ball. Over to Gogol. Gogol winds up. He puts it underground. It just about falls them all. Going through there. This is Davies as well. Backwards and forwards. Going to square it laterally. My Palonga out of side. 
Yep, Robin, pick up the, Rob, uh, Robinson, I think. With the war paint on. Robinson. They're going to run off. Gosh. Gotch. They get the kick forward. Almost in the hands of Elliot. And looks like it's over the line for a throw in. On the outer side here, what are we going? Ten and a half in the first. So Mills doing the rock and roll. Got taken out of the ruck contest there by D. Michelle. No call. Mopo. Push it forward inside 50. Homs. Homs. Oh, no, that's that's a mark. Good mark. That was uh, to Braden Martin, I reckon. It was too. Yep. And this is uh, this is Mole. So Mole's out there. Takes a bounce. Just kicks down the line. Didn't get a lot of penetration on the kick, and that's a really nice mark taken by Payne. So Payne just lifts his eyes. See Stegmaier in the middle. Clark Stegmaier. Goes out wide. He's got Fritchley on. Mate, can it sit for him? But... Uh, Rance is working back there. De Michelle working back in defence. Good. Love to see the Ruckman doing that. Oh, Harrowfield, Bury, oh, put his, he put his player under. And it's yeah. going to be a... a Contact leaking. below the knees, I think. Contact is below it? the... Yeah, I think that's right. And it's a 50. No mucking around. Zero tolerance. Imps have just been a bit wasteful by foot. They've had some chances. They've been out going forward. And they've turned the ball over a couple of times when they shouldn't have. And... This is a chance for Maipo to take full toll on those turnovers. That's going to be Altman. Just need better in the discipline area there. You can't afford a shot on goal. Just some goals are tight. So Altman has dragged it to the left. Minor score. Imps eight, Maipo six. So lean it to bring the ball in. Going to stick to the outer side. He's got a big long kick there. From behind, Boris takes it on the chest. He's come playing up high. That's good to see. Just holds it. Looking for Gogol. Oh, it's a lead up. Oh, but he just drops the kick short. In there's Robinson. It is Robinson with the wall paint. Number 13. He's got uh, Kirshner on the inside, but he is forced to do a kick. Penfold in there. Hands up through Bury. Bury just fumbles it. Needs to paddle it forward. He does, but might belong there. Got the numbers. Back to Robinson, just uh, hits up Davies. Davies has got a chance to wind up now with a big long ball, so they're looking for a one-on-one -on -one here. Homsch, well done to uh, Martin to get a fist in. Homsch is onto it first, though. Can't quite pick it up. Well done to Marsh. Over to Montgomery. Montgomery's going to use Slamblich. Oh, Slamblich is caught with the it. ball. He's gone holding the ball. Wow. There's a bit of that pressure that Maipo brought last week. Yeah, and the score should be seven, Jim. Seven, seven, one goal, one to Maipo. And this is Wilkins. Wilkins with the ball. And once again, a turnover, tackle. turnover mm. by foot up on the wing for Imperials. And it just, when you're attacking, you're running forward and you turn the footy over, it just opens you up in your defensive half. Wilkins doesn't miss him. He hasn't got 30 goals for no reason. And the Tigers have got their second. Make that 31 he's got. It's just a... If he's can clean up their ball movement, they'll be okay, but at the moment they're just allowing Maipo to turn it over in really bad spots, and they're getting um, burnt going back the other way here, Imperials, and Maipo doing a really good job. So that one there now, Maipo out to two goals, 113 imps, one goal, two, eight. Good game here, though. I believe Dean Michelle's going to play defence, uh, resting. Bury's gone into the ruck. He just isn't sure where he's going to, he'd have to pick up Mills, surely. Uh, there's a mismatch back there right now. He's got to get pick up Wilkins. So, yep. anyway, back in the middle there, Matt. So, yep. So, uh, Homsch has gone into the middle as well for my boat. A little run on the ball. So, we've got Mills in the ruck, I reckon. That's that's what's throwing the balance out down there for him. That's why they're all looking around. Mills tried to take it out of the ruck that time. Ball just spills loose to Homsch. Sticky Nicky sticks it forward. Fritchley goes with the one hand. Nicely done there by Bury. McKay. Oh, McKay, sorry. They look similar. So, Harrowfield. Just out and open here. Just gets quick hands to Penfold. Oh, that was nicely done. Nice mark. He's not paid to Lucas Young. So... Yeah. What's so going got, on here? Oh, there's a little bit of a issue here. Bit of love in. Yeah, this to Brodie Stewart and Harrowfield just having to get to know each other. So... Oh, that's <laughs> a big throw to da Davies. Nice uh, take. Kicks it into the half-forward line. It's out the back here. They're going to have to turn it and run. Away goes the King Halson. Toddy Housen. And it's a uh, minor score. It's a couple of times now Maipo have exited stoppage by going backwards and around. So Imps have probably just got to adjust to that. 
and try and at least get someone up there to put some pressure on that ball. Montgomery squares it across. Braden Martin tucks it under the arm. Winds up for big kicks. They're going to be end up out on the wing here. It's going to be an overhead contest, though. Mike Longer there to retrieve it, putting it back in through Altman. Oh, he's got Gotch on his own. Just outside 50. Gets on with it quickly. There's a lead-up player. Deemshell's come in. He spoiled it. Going through his sandwich there. In there's Wilkins. He's got it. He gets a handball out. This is dangerous. Gotch kicks it up. Heading towards the goals. It's oh, he's got it. It's a goal. Great goal. That's a third one to the Tigers and great goal to Gotch. That was Reagan Gotch. Just and a couple in a row for the uh, Tigers. They've really come to life these last four, sort of five, ten minutes, haven't they, Mike? Really putting a lot of pressure on Imperials. Once again, Imperials just turning the ball over on the wing by foot. I just thought Maipo lacked a bit of intensity just in that first probably five minutes of the game, and then all of a sudden they've gone, oh, hang on, we've got a fight game of footy here, and let's pick it up. Yep. Which but they've done. So, Imps need to re respond here, Captain. We'll put Stegmaier on to Gogol now. So, Louis D back into, into the ruck. Uses his body well, got up. Could have gone off the ground then. Just been pulled back in. Another throw up. Sort of no one really won that one down. Oh, some hard work in there. So Mills and De Michelle, one there by De Michelle. Penfold onto it. Had to evade a tackle. Gets by hands now. This is Sambridge. Sambridge drives it in. Harrowfield's there, Harrowfield. Oh, beautifully done by the veteran. He goes by hand back to Penfold. Penfold lines him up. That's a big goal from Imperials. That's the football they've been trying to play. It's a confidence booster for the side. And I like even just Luke Harrowfield giving one off to Penfold because Penfold just had a bit of work put into him early. And it just brings him into the game nicely, gets him up and about. He got the clearance out of the centre, Jack, and ran all the way down and got on the receiving end. So, yeah, good running. He's, he's a good power runner, Jack. And uh, that's why they'll have to rotate players onto him because they just won't go with him for four quarters a single player. No quality finish, and now we're looking at him right getting it nice and close again within a kick. Two goal, two, 14 to three goal, one, 19. Entertain the opening term, 18 minutes gone. Here at Meningi. Ball hits the deck. There's a chance for Young to get onto it. Cops it high. It's hanging on to Louis D. Michel in the middle. No, it's, um, oh, no, it's Gogol. There's a couple of stagmires given away trying to do that heavy tag. Penfold uses his body, but the ball hits the deck. Uh, oh, under Hodge. Pick picked up. it up nice and clean. Uses it outside through Lewis. In and out, so a bit of trouble. Robinson's just got to throw it on the boots. It's a sky ball. Who's going to come in? It's a block. And it's a block against Louis D. Michelle. Or is it a... Yes, it is. So Louis D. Michelle will... No, it's Gogol. The free kick... Oh, free kick's to Daesh. Okay. Right. He's a short kick normally. He wouldn't back him to kick at 50. He's looking for a pass. Looking for Penfold. It doesn't hit him. He has to turn around quickly. It's going to have to be a contest here on the boundary. Gets it in, but he can't keep it in. And it's throw in at the 90 minute mark of this opening term. Great game of footy. Imps 14, Maipo 19. Absolute cracker. No, so we've got a free kick here. So Maipo's got it. So let's come in short. Stegmite, Clark. Oh, she showed some strength there. Might have been last possession. Might have been that last possession, kick, yeah. yeah. So um, Pat Davies. Davies can go now, but there's no one at home. He has to take the bounce. He's going to have to just stick it out in front here to advantage. Not sure it was advantage. Big uh, push off there from, from uh, Klusky. The Marsh Factor has to tap it forward. Gogol. Oh, that's McKay. improvised, but look. It is, but look who's there. Straight in the catchment. Yeah, it is. So Robinson just assessed his options. Stuck it in. Kicked it's it to mark. the... Kicked that it, right. Yeah, kicked it to the big man. A good solid mark there in that right, down to, down back there. He's got a fair old contract. He uses lean it across half back. He's got an option on. Going to Montgomery. Montgomery on the outside. He's got Martin there. He can take off. He's got plenty of room. Touches it on the ground. He's getting closed in now. He gets decked afterwards. That's got to be downfield for sure, but no, they've missed that one. Well, have they? No, they haven't. Well done, umpires. They did see it. They heard you. They heard you. That's well, what that was did. It was definitely afterwards. 
<laughs> Boris has got it. Is he going to go back and wind up? No, it was. I agree. He definitely received the ball. So it's this gun looking for a lead. Oh, kick. Oh, is that Sandwich going to take that? Yeah, Carter Norman. Oh, no, it's Carter, Carter Norman. Norman. 53, not 33. It is too. Carter Norman. Well, you said they're shallow pockets, but see, you can kick them from there. That one's a little bit deeper, but you put up one from there, Hoodie, have you? You don't? Yes, absolutely. Right. I've seen a couple go through. Check side. Off me, I bet. That's just, yeah. that's just with the dog on. <laughs> that's just with the dog on a Sunday afternoon, though. It's, it's not nah, during a game. Yeah. So Norman lines up. He uses a drop punt, and he does miss. There's just one. Just the Imps half forwards there at one stage got really caught out. Maipo had set up really well across the wing, and there were four Imperials forwards all still inside their forward 50. They've got you, you've got to work up the ground here at Meningi. It's a big oval, but if you don't, you will get hurt. Sticky Nicky, back pocket. He's going to go back across. See what they can do. This is where they were good last week, Maipo, weren't they? Yeah, they, they actually swung the ball, but Imps are all over this at the moment. They've got nowhere to go. They were straight onto it. So now he's told to go, and he's well, in all it. sorts of trouble, but no, he's not. Kirchner's getting back to help him out. Oh, good mark from Homs. Needed to take it. Save the day there, Sticky Nicky. They almost uh, made a meal of it, Tigers, coming out. They did. Told they're to go not out yet. No. They're not out yet either. Going to have to come down the line. He's got some, some tall timber here, but he's taken it. Uh, beautiful mark, there's Mole. That's a win for Imperial. That's Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can tell by the pressure there. The forward pressure was very good from the Blues. And last week, they just walked out my Palonga. So very good. So Mole puts it in. Big pack forming. Penfold off the pack as he snuck it around. Is it going to bounce through? He's yes. got it. He's got another one. That's a brilliant goal to Jack Penfold. That's his second. That's a great front and centre there from Penfold. Here it is on the red arc. Look where he is. Just picked off the pack beautifully. He didn't have time, much time to kick it he either. Didn't waste any no. time putting it on the slipper. No. It's a quality finish. He's on today, Jack. He is moving well, you know, and just doing the simple things, hitting the front of contests and moving through stoppage. Just what Imperials have done well so far. Gogol will move through uh, stop, uh, a stoppage. Jack Penfold will move through the stoppage. And it just creates a bit of um, confusion amongst uh, the Maipo midfielders if that's happening. So Wagonette's back in the ruck for Maipo. So Rory Taggart watching online. So, so uh, the way goes Davies. Inside 50. And that's a really nice defensive mark there by Braden Martin. Sticks it out for Sandwich. Nice mark. So he's just going to come down the line. He's oh, he's... It's an ordinary kick. It wasn't great. Klusky just runs onto it. Has to stop. Prop just turn around. Saw something like in uh, Gotch. Gotch has uh, been in good form over the last couple of weeks. He's going to go back to, to Klusky. So Jack Klusky. 20 goals this year too. Hasn't played the full season. Be punched, be punched there from McKay. Could have marked it. Yes, you're right. Oh, he's in all sorts of trouble and he's gone. Yeah, he had plenty of time to get rid of it, didn't he, uh, Butsy? He did. So he's Rance with the footy at half back. Thinks about the handle using Sandwich. He's going to go Latry. Oh, it misses oh, the target. Dear. Unusual for him. Over the head of Montgomery. They could have made a bit of a meal of it, and it's last possession. So lucky to get out of that one, the Blues. They just need to tidy up their foot skills here in Pirates. They just keep turning it over by foot. So Montgomery right half back. Gogol's just snuck onto the ground into the middle. If they can use him, oh. he, he's screaming for it now. He's unattended, but Montgomery goes, Montgomery goes down the line. Pack settling up in front. Harrowfield there, so is Mole. They look alike, those two. They do. Over the top is Gotch there too. Traps it in. Ball up out of sight in front of the coffee van there, Hoodie. And you reckon it's a pretty good yeah. brand of coffee yeah. over there? Yeah, happy days. Uh, Naomi's got a shop in town just as you come in on the left. And she's also got the mobile unit there, so she yeah. does a really good job. Everything's sweet down here. We've got smiley car washes and happy days. Yep. And we have a big one, big happy family here. Double hit forward. Whistle's gone. I even got complimented on my shirt when I went and got a coffee from there over you go. there today. Yeah, so free love kick, that. Free another free that. kick to Penfold. He's got Wright. Wright's gone forward. Oh, he he's off go. the lead. He's he run down go. from half back. Sinks the slipper into it. Has a look at the goals. Oh. What's he done? He's kicked it like a backman. That would have been a great goal had he kicked that. So that was, wow. They were opened up there, the Tigers. They didn't see that one. 
I reckon it'd be the first time he would have been running inside 50 <laughs> with the ball in a long time, that, right? Yeah, so Robinson, short. The King finds the King, Toddy Housen. Short again, so they're going to use this short ball exit, which worked last week. Mills. And him to be happy if they go short to the boundary because it means you can defend half the ground. Well, they've got, got, yeah. If they go the middle, you have to start defending the, whole, the entire ground. They're boxed in over here, aren't they, at the oh. moment. Housen does take the mark. Not paid. Oh. Play on. He's tackled. Ball up just in front of us here. Oh, things are tense. Yeah. And, yeah. 26 gone, so we might get a minute or so. And Maipo, yes, they're looking to use that short ball, but imps aren't allowing them to change the angles at all. It's just down the line the whole time. So Wagonette just uh, taps it down, no one there to contest with him. Oh, a little throw there, the Marsh factor. So Marsh whacks it on his boot. Inside 50. High pressure footy here. Oh, tackling. Oh, Mole's got him. Yeah, that's great tackling. Oh, and uh, Dement. Dement. Dement sticks it inside 50. Look at there. Oh. oh. Hanging on. And it's, oh, hang on. It's Boris hanging, has hanging got on, the free kick. It's hanging on to Boris. He can't be, can it? It's hanging uh, on to Boris. Did you see that, Butsy? I, if anything, that was going the other uh, way. Other way. Well, Absolutely. Controversial That's, here. Boris was caught way out of position. Did we have a, 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 a red arc on that, Mary Lee? No, oh, that was would have been a big one to get. I'll have to watch it on the replay later tonight. So, Boris. <laughs> Controversial, I would call that. Yep, I'm with you, but it's two versus I'd one. Like Sorry, see, Captain. I'd like to see it again because it could be a, hang, a hanging with the Guernsey. You don't know. So. Yeah, not what I saw. But anyway, <laughs> Boris is lining up. 55 for the year. Can it be number 56? And he has. He's got it. Wowee. Wowee. So at quarter time, Imps are going to be four goal, three twenty-seven to Maipo, three two twenty-one. It's been an entertaining first quarter. We're just watching the players just come to their huddles just to make sure they behave themselves. I think they are. <laughs> and we're going to take the a captain, small... Your captain was questioning the house and was just questioning the umpire. I thought he was. Yep. Yeah, we're it's going to take a break. Clarification. We'll be back with the second quarter after this. The Swampwood Hotel is your local to drop into for a cold drink and a friendly hello seven days a week. The Swan caters for all occasions with the options of our traditional pub menu We'll speak to our staff about set menu options in our function room. Happy hours are Wednesdays and Fridays along with other daily specials. With all the facilities you need to enjoy a relaxed and friendly atmosphere. Drop in and catch the replay in the sports bar on the way home after the game today. Ever wondered what life is like at the speed of Volt? It's fast. Way faster than that. Think Bolt has time to slow? Think again. Everything he does. One word. Bolt. Guess what? You can. Optus 4G Plus. Our fastest network ever. JS Sports has been family owned and operated since 1987 and is proudly South Australia's very own sportswear manufacturer. We understand the value of being competitive and most of all providing your club with service and delivery. Nationally recognised as a major uniform manufacturer and supplier, every product your club purchases supports manufacturing right here in South Australia. South Australia, for its farmers, for the towns and their communities, the people and their families, for advice and innovation, for this season and the next, for a sustainable future. Elders, for Australian agriculture. McHugh's Bakery are as Murray Bridge as the bridge itself. They sell everything you would expect to find in a bakery and more. Their original savoury slice is an icon of the city. Look out for their fleet of lunch trucks doing the rounds in Murray Bridge and its surrounds. Yes, same location on the corner of Adelaide Road and Flavel Terrace in Murray Bridge. G'day, I'm Adrian Pedrick. 
your state member for Hammond. If you want to catch up with me or my helpful staff, call in at 20 Manham Road, Murray Bridge, or give us a call on 85 311 676. Beaumont Tiles are proud sponsors of the RMFL. Visit Gail, Lucy and Riley for all your projects, splashbacks, bathroom renovations, main flooring, stone feature walls and outdoor tiling. We can advise on all glues, grouts, materials required for the job. A huge range of tapware is on display with a 25 year warranty as well as baths, sinks, toilets, mirrors and basins. So many vanities to choose from or custom make your own. Don't waste expensive fuel driving to Adelaide for the same prices. Family owned and operated at 128 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. Welcome back here to Manning. Just wait for some spectators to clear the area. We'll get underway in the second team. Imps now kicking to the right of screen. Boris kicked a goal after the siren from a free kick. Holding in that first opening turn. The Blues lead 4-3-27 to Michael Longer 3-2-20. Any update from the um, huddles, guys? Uh, have a listen to Brett Todd. He was, you know, happy with um, how he went about it. Spoke about really making sure... Um, they're switched on when Maipo trying to chip the ball by foot and plenty of voice uh, defensively as well. So Wagner gets a forward solid tackle on Penfold. And also just reinforce that he needs the half forwards to make sure they're working high up the ground too. So ball up again, tapped down by Demichel, Penfold's in there. Davies gets it up. They're going to clear it out, Maipo longer. The Kinghausen in front. Mm. From behind his right, uses some support. Wilkins kicks it around the corner. Oh, put the hands up, there's Homps. Couldn't quite complete the mark. Here they go. Oh, nearly into Stewart. Homps again butters up. Can you Stegmai? Tries to get around the oh. tackle. Solid tackle from Dallas. Big tackle. And that's uh, certainly stopped uh, Clark Stegmai in his tracks. Someone's put down there. Penfold. Penfold. From the big Paddy Davies. Uh, Paddy uh, Mills. Stephen Mills, I beg your pardon. Paddy Mills. <laughs> Paddy Mills, yeah. He <laughs> plays for Australia. He's good at both codes. And looks like Stewart's taking the market half uh, in the centre of the ground there. So Klusky got himself in a little bit of strife. He's had the back pedal. So just going to come up through the centre corridor here. Got a nice little uh, hand in there. Dement. Dement it was. Trying to do a little bit of work on Dement at the break. Looks to be moving a lot better this week. Yeah, he Dement. does. He looks looks much better. So D. Michelle off. Davies ran into a brick wall, yeah, and he's gone for that one. Took on the tackler, and, and it was Ben Gogol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that sweeper roll again, Ben. Really well played. Didn't let him out the front of the stoppage. Yeah, he's solid, solid build too, Gogol. And he's just going to bring it here to Bury. So Bury, half back. Just going to go back to Gogol, the old one-two. Don't mind that. So Gogol onto the outer Whoa. side, and he's coughed it up. Sticky Nicky. Not one of his better kicks there. No, it wasn't. So he's got the king on. Toddy Housen's going to get there beautifully, and he can go back and kick a goal here, Housen. He's got Mills on. Into the pocket. Wants it, and he goes. Goes to Mills. Hasn't uh, increased the angle by much, if any. Decreased it, but it uh, decreased the distance. Just the imps defender there, just mm. let Mills go. Mm. Yeah. That's, I mean, team defence, yes, you want people coming back in the hole and helping you out, but at some stage as a defender, you've just got to go with your forward. Didn't put any body on him at all. So, Stephen, not Paddy. <laughs> yeah, Paddy. I've got Paddy Davis and Stephen Mills. <laughs> so. <laughs> so Mills lines him up, puts it on its way. It looks good. It, it looks good. Nice shot from He's there. got it. That's uh, his first for the day, 33 for the year. Here it is on the Red Oak replay. Quality finish. And but once again, I don't, I'm not sure if it, if it's all their goals, but a, you know, a fair chunk of these goals from Maipo have come from foot, foot skill errors by Imperials. You mm -hmm. know, another turnover there by Gogol and 
in the defensive half just kills you. Yep. Absolutely kills you. So they're, they're kind of keeping Michael in the game just by their poor skills at the moment, Imperials. Well, let's see if they can fix them up. Just three minutes into the second quarter here. Wagonet gets it down, so it trickles towards the Michael longer direction. Players go down everywhere. They get it out. Davies under a bit of pressure. Goes backwards to Klusky. Outside of the boot. It's a bouncing ball. Just stays in, though. Sits there for Wilkinson. He's got some inside for Kirshner if he wants to use it. Kicks around the board. The, oh, big... Almost a uh, Housen taking the mark. They're under pressure here, the Blues. This is Lean it one way, the other way. Just kicks it up. He's open for hang time. Relying on a bit of body there from Marsh. In there, Sandwich gets it up. Oh, really good pressure, my Yeah, it wow. was. They've, they've worked really hard to keep it in the area there, the Tigers. I think that's one thing they, they did well against the Cats last week. Their, their defensive pressure was fantastic from start to finish. Probably haven't bought it quite as much yet this game, but I think it's starting to build. So Mills just swings that down to Klusky. Klusky goes by hand. Gogol uh, intercepts it. Uh, oh, Penfold's crunched. Just a hard tackle there from uh, Gotch. That's Lachlan. So D. Michelle just palms it down beautifully. Lovely ruck work from the big man. Nothing better than a tap ruckman. Up, up again it goes. Mills wins it down. Did Penfold have it then? No? Yes? No. So he's just got to get first at the ball here. The umpire will probably be looking to play a free kick at some stage. Got to clear it. So, again. Oh, oh dear, I did. That's a front on, front on contact. I never had the footy. <laughs> no. There's oh, that many bodies in the way, they, they can't see yeah. through it. No. The other umpire needs to come up and, and uh, have a look from the opposite direction. So ball up again. Big pack of players there. Gogol again tackled to the ground. He's like under 13s at the moment. Yep. Could the umpire ask him to clear out? <laughs> <laughs> Go back to your positions. <laughs> so another tap. Mills tries to get it forward. It's going to be another scrum again. You can just see it. But the onus there is on Maipo to clear it out. Imps will obviously want to keep it in tight and create yep. more... Um, stoppages here in their defensive half. Maipo, clear out. Make some space. Trying to get it forward there. Here's a chance for Maipo to run onto it. Who's got the footy? In there's Montgomery as well. And we still can't get a free kick paid. That's what we need. Someone needs to have a free kick. It's to break the game up a bit. One point of difference. Simpson favour. Almost tapped through there by uh, D. Michelle. They can get it around. What's this? Oh, wow. That's a goal of the day for Dutton. Oh, there you go. Goal of the day. Wowee. Who was it? Klusky? There it is. Jack Klusky? Day. No. No, it's, it's um, Kirchner. Kirchner. What a finish. Charlie Kirchner. Kirchner. What wow. a finish. What a goal. Well, that's how make, you make the most of your opportunities there. And uh, Throw it on the boot and you never know what can happen, eh? Sam Blitch off and Rance on. And so it looks like they've got a three-way rotation on the wing. Yep. Um, Sam Blitch, Rance and Darlitz. But yeah, geez, that's a good finish. And in finals, you know, those little things, little finishes like that could, could be the difference at the end of the day. Yep. Make the most of those at every opportunity. Back in the middle. They go at it again. Wagonette, one down there from Bury. Oh, the Maipo player. Own, in, he took, took his, his own, own player, player out. out. He did. <laughs> Unintentionally, of course. That was Wagonette. Wagonette on yeah. Stegmaier. So, Harrowfield, centre of the MCG. It's going to go in front of the new change rooms. Oh, oh, good, good mark. mark. Carter Norman. Uh, young Mole. Right? That's Mole. Mole. Jaden Mole brings it in low. Oh, that's a super start mark, and that's Dan Litz. That's got it. He's normally pretty good from this range. And it's Kyle Dan Litz. I reckon this is just about the first time he's gone inside 50 this quarter. Mm -hmm. Kick 16 for the year, Kyle. Generally a good finisher, Gen oh, yeah. generally. Apologies to our followers. We don't have the Echo Earth Mover stats today, unfortunately. So Dalitz on its way. He likes it. It's a big goal for Imperials. 
Here it is on the red arc. You're actually, it's actually quite a nice kicking action, actually. Kick through it. Yep. And obviously, he was a uh, very, very talented as a junior. And maybe hasn't come on quite as much as some people might have thought. But when he's playing his best footy, Kyle, his work rate is high. Yep. He gets up and down the ground as a small half forward should. And he's... He's quick enough that he's hard to go with, too. So mm. a bit of a, a breeze. Is that going to freshen? Because it's uh, coming to the left of screen. Cordio. A little bit of a... Sort of coming in from... Um, a little uh, afternoon south. Southerly. Southerly, yep. yep. That's right. So Bury against Wagonette. Bury gets it down. That's a nice little palm. It just misses Penfold there. Players over the footy there. Oh, well done. Klusky gets around. He gets a kick. So this is a good chance for Mike Belonga one-on-one. -on -one. Mills is there hanging on. Good oh. fist there from Martin. In there is uh, Lean It. He'll be happy to see it over the line, and he does. Wow. Just getting in top in the middle here. My yep. folk with the clearances. They've been able to get the ball in their front half, and the last couple of times they've been able to lock it in. So let's see if they can do it again. Montgomery with the task to bring the ball in. He's going to come this side. Short. He hits up Dallitz. Braden Dallitz. Looking for McKay, and doesn't quite carry. The kick was just dropped off there by Gotch. Oh, Inside, the it's opened up for Davies. Davies puts it out to right oh. and swings into the left of goal. What a good play. That's a good finish on the run, Pat Davies. There's a two in the row to the Tigers. Good skills again. Yeah, just inside 50, bang. Just, whew, well, wind, wind just uh, works it right to left. Straight through the high a little. It was nicely done. Once he got that, uh, that uh, space, didn't he? That's the way yeah. he went. And, yeah, look, Maifo doing a really good job. Once they get it in that forward half, it's not coming out unless it's going back to the centre for a um, centre bounce. They're just turning it over, creating scoring opportunities and really controlling the game this quarter here, Maifo. So him midfielders need to lift. Um, but, yeah, quality finish. So it's 33 to 39 favouring Maipo. Ten-minute mark of the second quarter. Oh, he just didn't take the ball as Elliot. Hi. And it's going to be a high tackle. So Davies starting to make an impact on the game here. He's got Stephen Mills on. Ignores him. Gets it out in front of Sticky Nicky. Not going to get there. He has to let it bounce. And it's going to be gone. Holding the ball. And away they go through the Marsh factor. Marsh goes through the centre of the ground. Looking for Gogol. Gogol strong overhead. He was in that occasion. Uses Panfold on the outside. He'll overlap it to Mole. Mole's got uh, Carter Norman on. He doesn't get a good kick on it. Does it sit for, for Norman? It does. He's just got to gather it in now. Runs around the boundary line. Has a look at the big white sticks. Is this a good goal for the Blues? No. no. Oh, it would have been. That was a oh. bit of coast-to-coast -coast play, but uh, it was good play. no cigar on that one, Butts. No, and, but speed on the ball makes it very hard to defend. So that's the first time Imps have been able to get a bit of speed on the ball coming out of their back half. So Hine takes the mark at half back. For the Tigers. You're unsure which way to go. He's going to square it. Back to Altman. Altman's going to go across. This is what they did all last week. Mm, they will not go long unless it's absolutely He's trying to work resort. it out. That's through Bowley. Bowley's got uh, Robinson on. Big punch from behind from Rance. Good defence. Solid tackle there from Dallitz. And we have a ball up inside. Imps 50. So Bury off. D. Michelle back on. Who's got the tap here? So, Boris. Boris is doing the rock work. So, a little bit of scrimmage play. Quick kick forward. That was Dalitz. It was Dalitz. And this is Norman. Carter Norman. Can't get a handle on it. Out she goes. Your tense game. Wow. It's tight. 34 to 39. And at the moment, it's really whoever gets the ball in their front half is scoring. Yeah. So, it's, a, it's really incumbent on the midfielders from each team to make sure they're getting it in their front half. So ball's back in. Harrifield just took it out of the air. Quick hands there. That was Sam Bledge. Boris. Boris. No. Where's it going to end Still up? Still in. Still in, but now it no. goes over and it will be last possession. And it's going to be Robinson, who's had an outstanding year in my post defence. So Roddy Robinson told to go now, does, wobbles one forward, oh. got down low, couldn't get the ball in, Montgomery, I reckon. Yeah, he just uh, it popped out on him, and another stoppage.
So ball up. Louis Demichel gets a fist. Doesn't probably go, go forward. Penfold there. In out of his hands. In his ranch. Tries to paddle it out. Well done to Lena. Gogol. Oh, just Dace. misses, misses um, McKay. And there's a free kick in the back. It's going to go to Mike Long's way through to Klusky. It's clever by Klusky. He's got himself in the way of the footy. Gives it some thought. <laughs> Penetrates it in, but he's going to hit uh, Montgomery on the chest. Gets it over the top. Jacob Rance has got plenty of room to balance up. Lift the eyes. He's got Lou De Michel on. They got a, they got to plus one here through Dallas. Dallas can get going. He's got oh, Harrifield on this, this outside. Way. He's going to handle it off to Sam Blitz running through. Big long kick. So where's uh, Boris coming over from behind? In front, Norman. No free kick there. They've got the numbers here. Tigers are doing that defensive stuff down back. They've worked it out well. They've cleared the area. They go into the centre of the ground. So Gotch takes the ball. So it's Regan Gotch. Just puts it out the front there to his brother in Lachlan. Both got the zinc on. It's a high, long kick looking for Elliot. Elliot got the hands to it. Couldn't bring it in. Oh, and that's a great mark from Lena. A great tackle. tackle. Not mark, it was a tackle. You knew what I was trying to do, I though. Knew, mm -hmm. I knew exactly what you are trying to do. Mm -hmm. Good end to win movement from both sides there. That was good to watch. So, Housen got to take the tap forward there for the Tigers. Try and get it out with Demish. or misses it all together. Tries to, Fritzy tries to don't argue. Wilkins is probably just a handball. Smothered by Davies uh, is in hand of Daish now. Thinks about handball on it, but takes the kick out. But he just puts it over the head of, of uh, Norman. That wasn't yeah, there. No. It was hardly even a nudge, mate. I think he could put a bit of there. Oh, is a bit more Mayo. We've got Mayo. We've got Mayo going left, right, and centre. And um, unfortunately, it doesn't look good. He's got to keep his head here, Carter Norman, because he did get in a bit of push and shove about a minute ago down in the front half as well. So the player with the footy is Brady Morris, is it? Yep. Altman's off. And Payne back on from Maipo. Lewis is going to go past it. So Morris has a shot. Looks pretty straight. No. Just pushes it to the right side. Minor score. Mm -mm. So at the 15, almost 16 minute mark of the second quarter, it's 34 to 39. Actually, you know, it'll be 40 now, won't it? It will be, I think. So Montgomery, beautiful kick. Sam Leeds, quick hands to Rance. Rance just moves it forward. Harrowfield, half he back. He didn't get it. Get it over them. Penfold. Can't go too fast here. Mike, I've got numbers behind the ball. <laughs> they have. You've got Louis D on. He sees him now. And he's just, just. Oh! Mm -hmm. Dear, oh dear. That was a big hit on uh, Louis D. But he's straight up. Tough as nails. That was Mills with the, uh, the hit. Harrowfield's uh, down. Put down. So, big hands, strong hands there. Robinson. Robinson. Good overhead, Riley Robinson. He's going to square it across. They use plenty of real estate here at Mai Palonga. Got some numbers this there. This is Riley Bo uh, Bowles. Gets it going. Mitchell Bowles, I should say. Sam Elliott, big wide sweeping handball overlap run. And the Tigers have got a one-on-one -on -one here. Homsch there. Oh, and a bit of hanging on there against Martin. Yep, and and Homsch will receive the free kick outside 50. Let's see if uh, that was a correct call there from the umpire. So the Tigers leading by a goal at the moment. We're 17 gone in the second term. There's a lead on by Mills. That's ignored. So Hotch winds up. Just going to put a big kick in. Oh, it's a massive it's kick. Carrying. It's carrying. And is it just going to be happily wow. swatted through by Gogol on the last line of defence? That was a big kick. That was an amazing kick. Wasn't it? It's the last couple of times Maipo have just started to get imps when they've switched the ball out the, o the other side um, and used the width of the ground really well, so Imps are going to have to be onto that. So Imps going on the outer side here. They might have marked it up, but no, they're going to just pick it up now through Mole. Oh, he's, oh, just a, he's just uh, kicked it straight to Brady Morris. That ball did, down at half forward yeah, at that, that's, yeah. that's set up behind the ball by the Tigers is working, isn't it? So the ball went through. Homsch is in all sorts of trouble here, but he gets a quick set of hands out to Gotch. Gotch, back inboard. Fritchley can't get it. But got the other Gotch runs onto it. Regan Gotch. No. Minor score. A couple of opportunities there. 
gone big in for the Tigers, but they're peppering. Who's got to stand tall here? They've definitely had the ascendancy this quarter, my folk. It's a lot more inside 50s, definitely. Just waiting for the ball to come back. Dements onto the ground. So plenty of time for my Palonga to set up their defence. The Blues got to work their way through this. Going to come out this side. Look at the direction of Norman and Harrowfield. Harrowfield, that's how. Oh, bounce. that's in the car park. Yep. So that one hasn't worked. Fritchley with the footy. Shaw now. You're going to put it in the hot spot. So it sets it up. In front. Oh, good Mitchell mark. Mitchell floating across takes a good mark in defence for he's the Blues. making a difference, Butts, isn't he? He is. He's, he's one of those guys you can put it either into the ground and he'll do a really good job for you. Yeah, right. No, nah, right with it. So that, that kick that, wasn't that, great. That oh. kick's not working coming out of there. No, it's not. Oh, what? why did he do that? Dace just ran straight through the mark and he's taken out Gotch. And it, there's another one. Yep. Do we get to the do we get to the point where uh, if you take a dive it should be uh what's going on here? Well, there's plenty of pushing and oh, shoving. There's plenty of diving going on too. Yep. So in the meantime, Gotch has got the ball. He's what's heading going? towards the goal square. It's no, Lachlan Gotch. No umpires have gone with him here, so no, no one knows what's really going on. No. So Gotch is back in the square. He's just waiting for the umpires now. Jeez, you've got to be dis more disciplined than that. Look, don't even put your hand up, because all you're going to do, a guy's going to do a three-quarter three pike yep. <laughs> and a triple somersault, oh, and you're going to get a free kick. I'm not sure why Gotch would do that, stick the ball out over the over the back. But anyway, stupid play, in my opinion. Especially when you've got a run on. You've got a run on, exactly. You've got momentum, and you stick it out the back. Which one was that? Lachlan? Lachlan did it. So that's his first for the day. Yeah, I just wonder, you know, MIFO have done a really good job. They've got the game on their terms now. They're winning it at clearance, and then when imps do end up with the ball in their forward half, MIFO have been able to get it out wide, use the width of the ground, and move it from one end to the other as well. So imps have got to really look at what they're doing here because it's just not working at the moment. Midfielders need to lift. I know I sound like a broken record. Yep. <laughs> I've said it already, but yeah, they really need a lift in there. Yep. You're not, uh, you're making a lot of sense because uh, at the end of the day, I just think uh, that that's where it's happened. You know, Davies and, mm. and Klusky have, uh, and even Gotch in there. And they're just set up defensively. Michael have, have set up. You just, they're not penetrating at all, the Blues. Let's see what can happen here. So Mills into the ruck. Demets <laughs> had his head ripped off. He'll get the free kick. That was Davies. Solid tackle on Clint Dement. Well, just Dement, a unsure. Just going short to lead up one. Lou De Michelle. Well done, Lou. What they need to do, they need to work up. Going out to Boris. Boris has gone wide. The kick's not going to carry. And then some of the kicking here has been a little bit substandard here for the Blues. Boris has, hasn't got the ball, so he's going to receive a free kick. So hanging on. Can you kick the distance, Butts? Yeah, you'll get the distance. I was just looking at him's forward line there where that ball was coming in, and they had four guys all standing within 15 metres of goal, and Johnny Boris was the only one that led up at the footy. I don't get that. So They no, should all be on the burst. And no wonder why Maipo are able to turn the ball over at half back, because they've got they're a cluster. There. They've got a cluster, exactly. You're leaving a cluster. So, so. in small forwards just aren't working hard enough up the ground, and Brett Todd did speak about that at quarter time, and I wouldn't be surprised if he pretty stern in his messaging at halftime about that. So laying it off right back on, Boris lines it up, puts it on its way. Johnny Boris hits the post. Wow. <coughs> Just having that little run where nothing's going really right for computers here at the moment. So Maipo go out of side. Gotch over his head. Boris is going to get under the scene here. And it's going to go over. It's going to be a throw in. So it's 5 4 34 Imperials. My post 7 6 48. We're at the 23 minute mark of the second quarter of the first semi final here at Meningi. Ball back in now. 
Ball just hits the ground. No real rough contest there. Davies in trouble. All sorts of trouble. On the ball. And he's gone. So Davies, it's going to be outside 50. Just trying to get the ball off him. Yep. The Nips really need a, a goal out of this just to get him back. Oh, absolutely. Close. Short pass. Looking for Boris. Punched. They're going to get out of trouble through Klusky. Well, gets uh, tackled as he's kicked it. And uh, did not affect a very good kick. And it's still in the forward line for the Blues. But outside the 50 arc here. So Mopo 23 kick, gone. Mopo kicked four goals to Imps one this quarter. Ball up. Trying to get it away. Sam Lich handles it forward. De Michelle just throws it on the boot. He's going to get a bit lucky. Oh. Through the hands of Harrowfield. Dives on the footy. And the ball's over the bound line for a throw in. I've got my power three. Who's got their four? Uh, so I've got Davies as one, Mills one, Lachlan Gotch one, Charlie Kirchner one. Kirchner, Gotch, Davies and Mills. Yep. So Stephen Mills, okay. So she's another stoppage here. And this is once again Imps clear, clear out and get some movement through the stoppage. Yes. They're going to clear it through uh, Robinson or Davies, one yep. of them. De Michelle takes it off hands. This is McKay. Big kick forward. And they oh, play downfield. downfield. And he's been put down afterwards, so they didn't need to do that, the Tigers. Well, my, uh, Mills marked it, didn't he? And the Penfold will take the free kick. He's got a couple today, Jack, in the first quarter. Been a little bit quiet this quarter, hasn't he? Has been, yeah. yeah. I think he's had put him up forward. Looked like he was playing up forward just that part. They put Dement and Gogol into the middle when Dement came in off the bench. So Penfold had a look at the goals. He's happy. Got it. That's his third for the day. They needed that. Certainly did. It was on the red arc. Nice good. kick. Yeah, good finish. Mm. So that's a goal they desperately needed, and absolutely. But you know, it's just the way the game's going at the moment. Once again, the ball, Imps got it in their front half, and they were just able to stop Maipo from exiting, creating turnovers, and eventually they get a shot on goal. Yeah. And it's basically, yeah, whoever gets the ball in their front half at the moment is scoring. Seven points, the difference. Absolutely picture perfect conditions here at Meningi. Mills, De Michelle, Dement. Gets a quick kick forward as he's tackled. Mybo and Kirchner, Charlie, their first. Goes by hand. It was risky. <laughs> Wagging it just slapped it away. And it goes over now. Yes. I <laughs> don't know if it was a handball or a... <laughs> well, it was sort of a bit of a slap a away, I think. Tap. <laughs> yeah. So, ball about to come in. And spinning. Oh, here we spinning. Go. Spinning. That's special one. one. Gogol wins the tap. Kirchner goes by hand. Classy didn't want it, didn't have it. There's some heavy work going on in the middle there. Absolutely. And the big bodies of... Classy's just asking the question. So no one got to that rut contest. Oh, there's a, yes, it's a free kick in the back. A bit overzealous there from Clint Dement. Stegmaier to take the free kick at half back here for the Tigers. They normally like to go safe. No, he'll probably go backwards. No, he's going to go down the line this time. Dean Michelle's camped under. Oh, oh, she gets oh right sticky Nicky. Oh, and oh. Dean Michelle's down. So the handball look forward. Here's Homp. Homp goes forward. Lifts the eyes. Has a look. Has, thinks about the goals, but he goes between them all. Well under right. Right handles the running Marsh. Marsh gets caught. Wrong footed, but he gets it back to right. All sorts of pressure here. The Blues. He needs to get it out. He's gone holding the ball. Yeah, and Dean Michelle's still down in front of us. I'll keep an eye on him. I think that's a concussion issue, that one. Not what they want for the big ruffman. Certainly not what the Blues need. No, he's coming up now. He's coming to his feet slowly. Hopefully he's Fritchley all right. with the free kick here. Meanwhile, release just on 50. Fritchley shot at goal yep. for the Tigers. He's okay. He doesn't he's get okay. onto it very well. Sitting out there for an overhead contest there. Well, there's a chance for Stewart. Gets tackled. Throws a boot at it. He's got it. They're kicking him from everywhere. The no, Tigers. It's touched. It's touched. It's touched. That's the siren. So right on siren time at half time here. My Palonga must be 7749. Imperial 6541. Certainly an action packed game. Looks like they're all alright out there. 
Yep. We'll take a break. All right. And we'll come back for the second half after these messages from our sponsors. The Swampwood Hotel is your local to drop into for a cold drink and a friendly hello seven days a week. The Swan caters for all occasions with the options of our traditional pub menu. We'll speak to our staff about set menu options in our function room. Happy hours are Wednesdays and Fridays along with other daily specials. With all the facilities you need to enjoy a relaxed and friendly atmosphere. Drop in and catch the replay in the sports bar on the way home after the game today. Dace Irrigation and Fodder are long time proud partners of the RMFL. Dace Irrigation and Fodder stock a wide range of pump and irrigation supplies. Davy and Grunfoss pumps are well stocked, along with Barco tools and Filmac irrigation supplies. They hold a variety of items from backyard ponds to wood fireplaces too. The folks at Daish provide a huge range of animal foods in an undercover, user-friendly pickup area. Drop in on either of their two stores, Murray Bridge or Strathalban. Ever wondered what life is like at the speed of Volt? It's fast. Way faster than that. Think Volt has time to slow? Think again. Everything he does. One word. Volt. Guess what? You can. Ops 4G Plus, our fastest network ever. JS Sports has been family owned and operated since 1987 and is proudly South Australia's very own sportswear manufacturer. We understand the value of being competitive and most of all providing your club with service and delivery. Nationally recognised as a major uniform manufacturer and supplier, every product your club purchases supports manufacturing right here in South Australia. Dutton's is a third generation family owned business that has been servicing the Murray lands for over 73 years and employ over 100 local people. Dutton's has 10 strong franchises. Ford, Mazda, Nissan, Mitsubishi, Hyundai, GWM, Haval, Volkswagen, Ironman 4x4 and also have over 130 pre-owned vehicles. Dutton's, easy to do business with. Our knowledge is our power and is at the core of each interaction with our customers. In a competitive landscape, we are determined to be leaders in providing flexible, adaptable and scalable energy and telecommunications solutions. Enervan prides itself of having the most experienced and skilled people in the nation who have a culture to deliver and perform. Enervan, connecting you with tomorrow. We're for South Australia for its farmers, for the towns and their communities, the people and their families, for advice and innovation, for this season and the next, for a sustainable future. Elders, for Australian agriculture. McHugh's Bakery are as Murray Bridge as the bridge itself. They sell everything you would expect to find in a bakery and more. Their original savoury slice is an icon of the city. Look out for their fleet of lunch trucks doing the rounds in Murray Bridge and its surrounds. Yes, same location on the corner of Adelaide Road and Flavel Terrace in Murray Bridge. The team at Meagle Engineering are the specialists when it comes to trailers. With over 30 years of experience, this family business supports and employs locals. Their trailers are built farm tough and the team pride themselves on their custom builds. Meagles also carry out trailer and caravan repairs while they stock a range of trailer components. 3 Howard Road, Murray Bridge. G'day, I'm Adrian Pedrick, your state member for Hammond. If you want to catch up with me or my helpful staff, call in at 20 Manham Road, Murray Bridge or give us a call on 85 311 676. 
Beaumont Tiles are proud sponsors of the RMFL. Visit Gail, Lucy and Riley for all your projects, splashbacks, bathroom renovations, main flooring, stone feature walls and outdoor tiling. We can advise on all glues, grouts, materials required for the job. A huge range of tapware is on display with a 25 year warranty as well as baths, sinks, toilets, mirrors and basins. So many vanities to choose from or custom make your own. Don't waste expensive fuel driving to Adelaide for the same prices. Family owned and operated at 128 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. Can't decide on the colour. Is it a feature wall? What colour's your furniture? Okay. At Crowies, we ask all the right questions because at Crowies, we know paint. Crowies, Murray Bridge. Now at 189 Adelaide Road. Nothing more rewarding than seeing the difference we can make in the local communities that we live in. Drakes are proud to be the sponsor of the River Murray Footy League. Drop into Drakes Murray Bridge for all your shopping needs. You'll find a great selection of the finest fresh food, quality meats, the little kitchen, fresh bakery. And if you need a Ruckman, you know who to call. Farm Fresh Market are your number one local fruit and veg supplier in the Murraylands. Their business has been operating for 25 years and are proud to be a local employer who support our community. Their store has been expanded to allow you, the customer, easy access to luscious displays of fresh fruit, vegetables, condiments, bread and flowers, and how about the in-store cafe? Farm Fresh Market, your fresh food experts in Murray Bridge. Grandisons are a one-stop shop for all your workwear needs. All the big brands, FXD, Yakka, King G, Bisley, and steel blue, bluntstone and rossy boots. No water too big or too small, Grandison's serving the Murraylands for 60 years. Office Steel are a family owned business with two generations of experience on their side, building quality domestic, farm, industrial, commercial sheds, carports and verandas. Hoffy Steel pride themselves on a personalised service which can produce quality products custom made to your requirements. Hobby Steel operate throughout South Australia, providing all South Australians with a wonderful service. Hoffy Steel, get in contact today. Extra cash? Got a lot of empty bottles and cans cluttering up your garage or backyard? And get to Murray Bridge Recycling. They'll have you unloaded as quickly as a speeding bullet and cashed up in a flash. With Meningi and Strathalbyn Depot Zoo, turn those old bottles and cans into cash now. Call Murray Bridge Recycles on 8532 4551 55 Thomas Street. Murraylands Rain and Horn has been established in Murray Bridge since 1988. Since 2000, Rain and Horn Murraylands has been one of the franchise market leaders in real estate throughout South Australia. Murraylands Rain and Horn boasts the highest quality of property managers equipped with managing your rental properties. Drop into the office in 7th Street for any real estate service you need. Nature provides us a precious liquid that comes from deep underground. It's a wonderful energy that we can use to cook, have instant hot water that never runs out, and keeps us warm on cold winter nights. And now everyone can enjoy the benefits of gas with L-Gas, no matter where you live. L-Gas, natural liquid gas. So good, we bottle it. Why don't you go your own way and call into Murray Bridge Isuzu Ute. Proud sponsors of the 2022 Rising Star Award.
Richards Auto Electrical are the Murraylands number one service provider in all things auto electrical. They specialise in alternators, starter motors, lighting upgrades, truck and four wheel drive accessories and installation. This store has a wide variety of 12 volt products and accessories to choose from. When it comes to Toyota, they are the LC200 and brand new LC300 specialists. Call in and ask about a torque converter lock up kit for your cruiser. Richards Auto Electrical, 113 Morris Road, Murray Bridge. Welcome to Smiley Car Wash Clarence Gardens. We're located just south of Edwardstown Mazda and before the Avoca Hotel. We have two touch-free laser washes and for those really dirty cars, we have one soft touch automatic wash. We have these awesome mega sized self-serve car wash bays. They're five meters wide, 3.3 meters tall and they will fit just about anything. We're Smiley Car Wash Clarence Gardens. Look out for the big red sign. At Sports Power, we know our town, we know our product, and we know sport. And because we've worn, kicked, run in, and played with the products we sell, we know what's right for you. So whatever the sport of the season, get the right product for you and your game at Sports Power, your local experts. Are you looking for top quality printing and design services? Look no further than Vanson Visuals, your local family-run business and proud sponsors of the RMFL. At Vanson Visuals, we specialise in screen printing, embroidery and graphic design and it's all done in-house. From custom work wearing uniforms to a wide range of clothing services, we've got you covered. Need a new logo or complete business starter pack? Our graphic design crew is here to bring your vision to life. Follow us on Facebook, call us or email us. Vanson Visuals, your one-stop shop for exceptional quality and personalised service. Wise Crash Repairs are your local auto crash repairer and panel beater servicing the Murray Lands. For more than 40 years we've prided ourselves on repairing vehicles and assisting our customers with many problems that can arise in getting back on the road. Contact Alan or Trevor or drop into our workshop on Wairima Street in Murray Bridge. David Eckert is a local who has grown up in Murray Bridge. His family run business provides the region with a wide range of excavation services. Eckert's Earth Movers run a modern and well-maintained fleet of machines and trucks to suit the needs of the community. Trenches, boreholes, pads for construction, footings, bulk cartage, yard cleanups, access tracks and roads, working in swamps and irrigation channels, Eckert's can get it done. Call Dave now on 0409 842 425 for a quote on your excavation needs. Welcome back to Meningi for the second half of the second semi-final. It's been a fantastic opening half of football here at Meningi. Imps are 6 5 41. They're just tr trailing the Maipo Tigers 7 7 49. And an interesting opening half of footy there, Butts. Yeah, it was um, pretty tight. You know, both sides, it's been really physical in the contest. Um, and, you know, saw almost tempers starting to boil over a little bit at the end of that half there. Uh, but as we spoke about, it really looks like a game where whoever gets on top and gets the ball from clearance into their front half is going to go a long way to winning the game. I feel if Imps can tidy up their ball use, um, then they might just pull away a little bit. But if Mike Poe can keep some pressure on and keep it scrappy, then they'll be right in this game as well. So what's your thoughts, Woody? I think um, it's been going in waves, the game. And uh, I think the, the Imps just need to sort their forward line out. They get that sorted and they, they could potentially win the game. Right at the moment, I am leaning to Maipo. They're just probably playing a little bit better footy, but uh, it's anyone's game. Looks like they're going to stick with a solid uh, midfield, heavy body midfields there. Well, they've got Lucas Young in there, so my mistake. I thought they might have had Dement starting. So Lucas Young and Nathan Day, so they're finer bodies. You've got, you've got Ben Gogel still in there. You've got Stegmaier, he's a solid body. I just wonder whether <coughs> Lucas Young might just drift forward after this 
centre bounce and someone slide. They still on the Klusky. And Bury into the ruck against Wagonette. Big fist from Bury into Penfold's hand. He can go one way, the other way. Oh. Hambles it out. He gets it through. Young. Oh, Young's clobbered. And the umpire didn't see it. He gets up. We start again. They nearly got out there, the Blues. Just couldn't quite complete the exit. Wagonette in the best spot. And there's some lip. So what's going on? There's a yellow card. For what? It's against Dace. What's it, what's it for? I don't well, know what it Dace was off the contest with, with Klusky no, having no, a bit to say. A jostling for position. Absolutely. I cannot... There was nothing... I don't think Dace should think towards the umpire. Obviously, he's got a reason. Just got to find the right colour card. So yellow for 10 minutes. Nathan Dace. So they can't afford this, the Blues. We don't know uh, what the details there. We'll find out shortly. No, I'd like to know about that one because that's, that's really strange. So it's been a 50 metre here, Captain. So Klusky with the footy. And he's got a fair roosting kick on him. He winds up. He might try and run around, Rance. No, he doesn't. He gets behind it. Puts it deep forward. Big pack there. From behind is oh, a big Fritchley. Fritchley flew. He's onto it. Get his crumb. In there, Scotch. Dives forward. They're going to come out a bit here, Blues, through Rance. They can go wide. They keep it just in the line. They do. Norman, he's pushed. No free kick. He's pretty sure he's going to take a fair hanger one day, isn't he? Yeah. It's, uh, it's two games in a row now where he's got up there and nearly... Nearly got... Oh, he can, he can hang. How good was Homster's jump, too? Yep. He can hang. So it's just touched on the boundary line. Trying to swat it back there. In there's Kirshner. Gets it. Puts it forward. And does it make the boundary line? And it's touched just on the line. Wow, big start for this third quarter. Two minutes in. It is eight points the difference. Ball back in. Taken out of the ruck there was Wagonette. No, it wasn't. It was Mills. And uh, Young just had to absorb the tackle there. Couldn't do any more. He's taken a couple of big hits early in this uh, second half. Lucas Young. Up it goes. I'd be interested for you to perhaps just wander down there at three quarter time, but and just see if you can find out what was actually said yeah, there. Yeah, I'll find out what happened there. You've got a bit of uh, inside intel there, a little bit of access to the inner sector there. <laughs> so, ball up here. Coming through hard. Go over trying to get it forward. Payne throws it forward. Was there a hand on it? Looks like it was. We've just seen the last couple of times that there's been repeat stoppage after repeat stoppage in Maipo's front half, but they've ended up with a score. They'll just grind this and grind this and grind this. So just great, just uh, grabbing metres here as they're working their way around the line. Well, it's a flat throw in. Throw it in again, please. That one wasn't spinning, would he? No, nope. definitely. Glad I didn't do it to that one. That's a better throw in. Bury gets it. Put under Gogol. Gogol gets it out. He's tackled, but he gets the handball out. Penfold picks it up. He's caught. Handles it through to Dement. Dement tries to kick it off the ground. They can get, get out here through Robinson. Puts it up in the hot spot. Big pack forming. Who's got the footy? It's a loose one. They can get it out here. Rance will exit. Goes one way, the other way. Wrong foot. Some beautiful use of the ball. Hits up Boris. Going through the centre of Meningi Oval. They can get him out if they want it, but it's, they're outnumbered. Oh, oh. He's caught from behind. Play on, the umpire says. The kick forward coming in there's Lena. He gets the mark. So they've got plenty out this side here. The Blues, if they want to use it, they're going to go to Marsh. Marsh they need Baker. to get underneath him here. There's going to be a contest. Good hands, Marsh. No, they just Hambles at the penfold. Goes one way, the other way. Hambles it forward again. Dement, Dement on the left. Just throws it in the hot spot. But, oh, his Roberts is going to make it on the chair. Oh, no, that's uh, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, Mitchell Lewis has watched the uh, replay in the second quarter and he's uh, trying to go to school on it there and he's done it. you just got to have a thing. Imperials, like, you've got to realise you're a man down. Mike, I'm going to have numbers behind the ball. You've just got to be a little bit more patient going inside forward 50. So they're crossing it back here, the Tigers. They work it around the defence, as we've seen. This is Kirshner. So Charlie goes now. He's going to go into the middle. He's going to come off. Oh, no, it's not. Bury goes by hand. Montgomery just goes out wide to Sam Blitch. He's got Dementon in the middle. He's going to go back to Montgomery. Montgomery inside now. 
Two multiple defenders. That's a big mark. That ball coming in forward is poor, but, uh, Butsy. It is. It's really poor. Poor like quality. So the King, Toddy Housen, just goes out wide. Saw something he likes in Gotch. So Gotch just goes in short, finds Bowley. Mitch. So Mitch Bowley just down the, down the outer side now. Just playing some possession football. Goes to Stegmite. So Clark, beautiful looking oh, kick. Got out. How good was that? And the Mopo were on here. This is Wilkins. So just holding up play. He's got Davies forward if he wanted to use him. So it's a big ball sitting in the air. Plenty of bodies there going back. Montgomery can't complete it. Fritchley's all right. He's got a loose one. Oh, it's got... Oh, tackle. I mean, smothered Smother Rance. there, Rance. He runs into Kirshner. And that's where it'll stop. True half back here at Meningi. So Mipo 77-49. Imps 6-5-41. The score hasn't moved. We've gone five and a half, nearly six into it. Solid tackle then. It'd be a really hard game to umpire. I've got to give the, the guys in green kind of a bit of slack there because there's just a lot of stoppage work. You've got to have full-on vision. Bury a lot. What he's doing in the ruck, he's done some good stuff here in this third quarter. But it's come out through Kirshner's there. He's held. Stolen out of him. Dements in there. And we have another restart right in the centre. For him to win the clearance here, they're going to have to handball out because Maipo have got plenty of numbers, so a rush kick will just come straight Good back. Good tap from Mills. He finds Davies, gets it forward, looking for Gotch. Oh! And it's a push in the back. So Gotch will receive the free kick. So Regan... Just holding the ball, holding the ball. There's some players inside that 50, isn't there? He goes now, finds Lewis. So Nick Lewis out wide, half forward. Got the lead on now from Mills. Is he going to stick it in for him? He does. It's going to be a big pack. Big pack. Oh, lovely big uh, fist through there. I'm not sure who oh, that stolen. was. Dement. Dement's going to bring it back out. But it's all Mipo here. All Mipo and the King, Toddy House. And makes a, almost makes a meal of that. He's got players on in the middle of the ground. He's going to go there now. Missed the target completely. And all oh, Imster on here through Harrowfield. Well, they go outside. Sandwich has got some run wide. They're going to run it forward with a handball. Harrowfield not sure what to do. He's got Penfold running forward. He's got to have one-on-one -on -one with Payne. He tries to make it one hand. He's caught Hamble, but he's got outside support. This is Dalitz. Dalitz lines up. Kicks it for goal, and he's no, just pinged he's it to the left. Wow. Missed opportunity there for the Blues. Mm. They did that really well, though, Imperials, with Maipo's numbers behind the ball. They used hands, didn't blaze, and then were able to create a shot on goal. And a big part of that was Jack Penfold's work, work right down this ring. So Lewis just pushes it out wide. They're going to come back again. This is what they do. Bowley. Need to push further up the ground, the Blues. So that's a risk. Here it is. Norman. Oh, that's a big mistake. Can't float him around. It's the first blemish we've seen in their defence, Butsy, uh, in the last two weeks. Yeah, it was on the red arc. A few hands went in the air. Carter Norman. She used to be a big goal. Wipo have had the ascendancy early. This just... We'll put him back on the back oh, foot. Absolutely. So Carter Norman... He's kicked 16 for the year. Probably more, one of the more important goals he's going to be lining up for. Bit of a stutter. Puts it on its way. Tugged it. He has minor, minor score. Mm. Needed to kick that one card to Norman. So the Mipo 7749, the Blue 6642. Just wait for footy to come back. Mitch Bowley with it. Goes out of side. He's got something on. Mark uncontested. We'll use the overlap run of uh, Lewis. Lewis gets onto it. Gets okay. it up the forward line, uh, the, the wing, over the top. Play on. Well done to McKay. Uses Rance. Rance puts it in. It's a quality Boris. ball. That's a quality delivery. And Boris gets silver service there from Jacob Rance. Good turnover on the wing there, the Blues. Boris, they force Imperials force them long down the line. That's what you need to do. Especially if you're, uh, like we said, a man down with a yellow card. You know, the fact that they, they need to kick these goals too. 
Yeah, that's right. They're, they're one down. They've probably got to wait another minute or so, I reckon. So that lets off Mole on. There's a minute into the minute or two into the start of the quarter. Young off Sandwich on. Johnny Boris going for his second of the day. He's Not pushed happy. that as well. Wow. Missing opportunities here, the Blues. Absolutely. This is a critical time of the game. As I was saying, Premiership quarter. That's it. It's an old one, but it's a goodie, and it's probably so true. So Mitchell Bowley comes here on the outer side. Big opportunity. Bury couldn't quite bring it in. Sam Blitz goes by hands. Lean it. Tries to thread a needle. Does. Lewis, uh, Lucas Young, Sandwich back in deep. Gogol's going to have a fly. Stoppage. Wow. There we go. Mm -mm. So Looks like Mike had just gone away from that chick, uh, kick mark game as well. A couple of times ever just blazed. The ball up there. Hit forward. Penfold underneath it. Plenty of Tigers there to relieve the pressure. Good body work there done by Dallas. Opens it up for Mole. Mole has a look at the sticks. They've pushed it wide. Oh, fun mm. on play there. They've let that go. Gotcha's over the fall. ball. Johnny, uh, tries to get kick. a free kick, and he, he does. does. Mm. A little bit careless. Yeah, just got to be careful here when, when you make contact with the body. Giving away those free kicks. Stegmai camped underneath it. Oh, Ball's going to be a turnover here. Bury, I tell you what, he's had a really good quarter. Oh. But he just sprays that kick, though. Just not the execution he needed. Lewis coming out of defence. Oh, that's ball. out on the full. And it's a turnover to the Blues. I must have a player back on soon, I would think. He yeah, hits about 12 minutes, I reckon. Yeah, back on. I reckon he rides about two minutes in. So Nathan Wright goes with his left. Just going to get it inside 50. Push. Oh, we've got to push to Carter Norman. Yep. They need to make the most of this. They've had their opportunities, the Blues. I'm not sure. Had the, they've got Imps' eight behinds on the, the main scoreboard here. We're at six. I'm not sure. Do a check on that. So he goes now. He's just ran out wide, and that's where the ball went. That's going to be just tapped over for a throw in. God, they're just being costly down their butts. Yeah, not as efficient as you'd like. That's for sure. Geez, they got the games on their, the game on their terms, and they look far more organised in front of the footy this quarter. So ball in front of the scoreboard here. Boris out of the ruck, couldn't gl grasp it. In there's Hine for my longer. And we reset again. And we also don't forget, guys, we've got the Smiley coverage player of the day. We've got to keep our eyes on. High, High tackle. tackle. So it's Imperial free. Might be Dace, is it? Came through from the bottom of the pack. Yep. It's uh, Nathan Dace. He's, he's back, back on the on. ground. There you go. Immediate impact. So here's a chance to repay the side with a goal. And then you might let a couple of Mipo boys know about it too if he kicks it. Mm. He's not the longest kick, but he's, he's, he's got to kick it first. Straight, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, certainly. Um, they need this one, the Blues. It's a big reply for Dace. He's a kick through the footy. That's yeah, another one missed. Oh. Is this going to be costly, away. Butts? Is this going to be costly in the context of the game? Probably. Yeah. How many times have you seen a few shots on goals, you miss them yeah. all, and then the opposition goes down the other end? Yeah. So Maipo through Bowley. Just come out short. They're off straight away. That's good. Lewis. Oh, he's called that. Yeah, I was going to say, it's either out on the fall or a mark. I don't reckon it was fumbled. So Rance, exactly. I thought it was one take. And uh, Harrifield, strong set of hands. Umpires paid it. Yeah, to, to, everything, to, to uh, weather the mark there. Yep. Playing well, Luke Harrifield. Yeah, been in and out a little bit, but he's, he started off really well, uh, Luke. If he kicks this goal... Left foot up on the right side. Seen him do it plenty of times before. Range may be a, an issue. Yeah, he's not kicking as long as he used to. <coughs> as the clock ticks. He's kicked 11 for the year, which includes one today. Harrifield winds it up. Puts it on its way. No. 
Minor, minor score. They could rue these opportunities later on. So Michael Longa, just that short hit-up kick got. Oh, oh don't do that. Oh, you, don't, you don't do that. The umpire didn't fall for it, though. No, that's risky. Oh, oh it's this, underground. That's even riskier. Go get around. Demet gets around him pretty easily, actually. Can't come out of trouble here, the Tigers. Use that short one. Oh. Misses the body. Lean it. So it's a spinning ball. Coming. Oh, front on contact. Yeah. Yep. But has he marked it anyway? I reckon he has, Norman. He's going to get the kick. So he needs to kick a goal, Norman. He just needs to go back and kick straight through the ball. He, he runs around a lot on the, on the angle and pushes him off to the right. So, you know, Penfold's there lurking. You just feel like if Imps do get one here, it could be a real dam buster. It could really break the game open. So, Norman, he needs to go right end post and let that dre breeze drift it right to left. That's where they were going through earlier. That's a better. That's a better. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's no. not. Put it out right enough. They don't listen to me, hoodie. No. Never mind. Didn't, get a, good, he, didn't he, get a good piece of it at all. That no, wasn't. A, that he, did not fly through the ball. No, he didn't. At but at least he he ran straight in his <laughs> kick in action. So Kirchner, Dement, hot on the mark. And oh, that's not Kirchner because Kirchner's it's leading up. Pain. Might be pain. I saw the four. And that's. Well, they've and done it a couple of times here, the Tigers. they've done that, Butsy. So they're hemming him in, and they just, they need to make the most of this Imperials. So Dalitz in Braden. So he's got a fresh cut there, too. So Braden Dalitz drives it back in. Who have they got at home? Oh, that's a big mark to my poke. Who was it? Oh, Klusky. Klusky. That was a rip. Here is on the red arc. Someone's down. I reckon Dace is down. Gogol, I think. Oh, Gogol, is it? This doesn't look great. Mills, Sticky Nicky reads the pack like a book, takes a bounce to Sticky Nicky, he's off, off to the races, he sticks out in front of Clark Stegmaier, Clark Stegmaier, oh well done to, to uh, McKay, he's a kick on his feet, he does, oh well done McKay, oh McKay's doing well, great defensive work from McKay, yeah, that was a good effort, that's a big effort from a young fellow there, the kid, Gogol's up, and that's good news, they're going to throw the ball up and get the game going quickly, there's a bit of emotion there down that end, so Tigers in their forward half now, It'd hurt the Blues if they got a goal out of this one. Penfold in there. Has hit the dip. Is Klusky. Looks like someone's there set up for the mark from behind. Oh, oh, that Mills. Mills. Big play. So you're always going to set it up in the air one-on-one -on -one to, to uh, Mills. And they could go down and uh, kick a goal after all those opportunities the Blues had. Wasting shots at goal. Mills would go forward and kick a goal, and that really hurts. 6-11 the Blues. 7-7 seven, seven, might be longer. Mills, got it. That's straight through the middle. It's another one. Here's the Robinson. It's in to my Pope. Second and Mills for the day. I've got him down in three. I reckon there's Robinson kicked it, wasn't it? Was that Robinson? Uh, right. Oh, it is two Robinson down there. there it's not go. Mills. It's Robinson. That's an interesting, uh, interesting move. Well, absolutely. Taking him out of defence. Yeah. Well, but he's got a goal. We yeah. spoke about it too. So it's worked. Know. That's his sixth goal for the year, Robinson. Imperials had shot after shot after shot, and then first time Mipo go down the other end, they, they put one through. Yeah. So Jaden Moles in the middle for, for Imps. Daish is in there. It's a young midfield. Absolutely. Young. And Lucas Young. Wow. And now Sandwich is just uh, jumping in, and Moles, Moles coming onto the out. wing, onto Charlie Kirchner. So Wagonet's in the ruck. And Bury. We haven't seen Louis D back on in this third quarter. So up they go. One down there by Bury. Been winning the taps most of the day. Gotch. Davies. Kicks it straight in. Three centre half forward. Now this is Mills. Can't get it. Leonard had to sit under it. Did a good job. And we've got a high tackle Montgomery. going to Montgomery. Montgomery with the football. Could have used Rance down the corridor. He's still there. He's still there. <coughs> Not sure which way to go. Bit undecided. Goes that wide look of a penfold. Takes the mark. Diving on the ground. Out of wing. Oh, is that smothered? Oh, it, it is too, but he gets it back. Panfold handles it up. He's got support there. Sandwich. Sandwich long. Looking for Harrowfield. Does it keep it in? Might be longer. Just get a finger to it and they have a ball in on the outer side. I just wonder now whether after that goal, you know, no tomorrow after this for the loser, whether Imperials look at throwing. You know, Harley Montgomery won a male medal playing in the middle of all year last year. Yeah. And I know he's sore, but I think you've just got to 
pull the pin and get your best, best of your best in around the footy. Absolutely. That's a good call, buddy. But so because um, he did that last week, uh, got into the game against Jervois there, and he got some really valuable touch. So Gotch, it's a risky kick. Can it come off here? The stage it is. So it's 47 to 55, favouring Maipo. Lean it, been very good back there today. Mitch Lean it. Yeah. Louis Di Michelle's back on too. Rance short. Rance. He's a thinker. So he just lifts the eyes, Sandwich. So Sandwich goes now. He's going to drive it in long. Who have they got there? Oh, big fly there from Gogol. Oh, Dement. Dement has it. That's got it. Let's That's see a good goal to Dement. Let's, let's have a look at it on the Here it is on the yeah. uh, red arc. Jeez, I thought it came out off the a finger there, but no, they're not having remonstrated at all. It was Dement. How did you get it through there? I'm not too sure, but we'll put that down to Clint Dement. That was a great crumbing goal. It was. That was a valuable goal, that one for the Blues. Absolutely. Puts them a bit closer. It's a cracking game here. 21 minute mark, third quarter. 7 11. Uh, yeah, so 7 Is that 11. adding up right? Yeah, that's not. That so hasn't been changed 30, yet. 36, 46. 30, you on the scoreboard there, Jim? Let's just uh, do the sums and the goals there. They might be right. Bury. Oh, didn't have it. So free kick to Daish. No, it's Young. Could have used Sandwich there, the Blues. Dement puts in a lead, so it's a big ball forward. Harrifield on the lead as well. He's in front, punch from behind. It's good football. Dement over the footy, grabs it. Stops from coming out at least. At least it's a contest. Loose ball, diving on its penfold. Gets it out, Sandwich. And we have a stalemate. So they're the ones that swap. Looks like Housen's gone down back. Um, and Rob for Robinson to go forward. That's yep. a bit better, 55-53 on the scoreboard. Two points in it. So one down there by Bury, been rocking really well. Harrifield, Klusky, gets it into the centre. Well out, out, good out. punch. Lean it, drives it back in. No one home, oh. and the King Toddy Housen just drops into the hole. So it looks like he spot with Rob, swapped with Robinson. Yeah, he has. Back. Out to Lewis. Lewis can go. He does. Under the uh, wing. Nice hands by Davies. Pat Davies. Lewis has ran on for him. Told to go now. Does go short up the wing. Saw something he likes. Just trying to see if that... Now that's Wagonet, the Wagonet. ruckman. So Wagonet just moves it forward. So it sits in the hands. They get forward here. Tigers playing in front. It was McKay. Swooping on it is uh, Lucas Young. Good solid tackle though. In there's McKay as well. Backing up. And Dean Michelle. They've got the heavy artillery in there. And we have a stoppage. Outside the 50 for a... Maipalonga, 23 gone in this quarter. Maipalonga kicked a goal. The Blues have kicked a goal. I think it's a goal each. Would that be right? Yep. One, 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 each. My, one each. On my page here. Yep. Lean it. Spares it in. Looking for Harrifield. Great mark on the burst, Luke Harrifield. Wants to play on. He's got Penfold on the outside. He's got a bit of room, which doesn't get often. He gets it out to Mole. Mole can't com catch the ball. He's under pressure, Mole. He needs to get it. He's tackled. And they're just uh, not quite cleaning those transactions there, Butsy. No, not quite. And, yeah, so it's just nearly been out a couple of times and just haven't been able to finish. So Gogol takes the tap. Sandwich, Gotch, Day, uh, Klusky. Oh, Mitch lean it. They must have called it touched. It must have been. Because it was a clear mark. But it must have been touched. Been good today, Mitch lean it. Right on the centre wing here at the MCG. <laughs> Nicely done there. Daish gets it back forward again. Gogol having to get onto the ball is Altman. Well done, He's in Dallas. trouble. He can get it back now. He does. Davies gets a quick kick forward. Ball stops and props. Mopo going to drive it inside 50 here. Who they got there? Oh, Robinson. There's a clash of players there. And, and through the marsh factor. Imps are going to mop it up. Oh, good vision there from and Bury. young um, Jack McKay. He's playing a really good game down back. Yeah, he's got a level head for a young fella, Jack. So Bury comes out this side. Oh, he's going to hit Gogol. Nice ball. Jeez, he Takes it on the chest. Man. Ben Gogol. He's a brute. Sandwich. They're going to use Mole on the overlap run. They're taking the game on here, the Blues. This is good to see. He's got Rance out on his, on his own. 
He's got some help in Luke Harrifield too, but going to be in the way there is Elliot. Well done, Elliot. Well yeah. done, Elliot. That's a win. Because the Blues were uh, definitely going to be going through that, that avenue if it uh, wasn't for Elliot there to stop it up. Absolutely. You can see all the Maipo faithful in the background sitting along the fence there, looking straight into the sun. And I think what Imps have done here in this quarter to help around the ball is Jack Penfold starting at half forward, but he's just going up to every contest and basically playing as a, uh, another on baller. But if they do win a quick clearance here, Maipo set up well. They've got two spares behind the ball. Oh, there it is. There's the third quarter. Right, finished at 7 11 53 imps to Maipo 8 7 55. Two points in it. We'll be back for the last quarter after this. Dace Irrigation and Fodder are long time proud partners of the RMFL. Dace Irrigation and Fodder stock a wide range of pump and irrigation supplies. Davy and Grunfoss pumps are well stocked along with Barco tools and Filmac irrigation supplies. They hold a variety of items from backyard ponds to wood fireplaces too. The folks at Daish provide a huge range of animal foods in an undercover user-friendly pickup area. Drop in on either of their two stores, Murray Bridge or Strathalban. Dutton's is a third generation family owned business that has been servicing the Murray lands for over 73 years and employ over 100 local people. Dutton's has 10 strong franchises, Ford, Mazda, Nissan, Mitsubishi, Hyundai, GWM, Haval, Volkswagen, Ironman 4x4 and also have over 130 pre-owned vehicles. Dutton's, easy to do business with. At Enervan, our knowledge is our power and is at the core of each interaction with our customers. In a competitive landscape, we are determined to be leaders in providing flexible, adaptable and scalable energy and telecommunications solutions. Enervan prides itself of having the most experienced and skilled people in the nation who have a culture to deliver and perform. Enervan, connecting you with tomorrow. The team at Meagle Engineering are the specialists when it comes to trailers. With over 30 years of experience, this family business supports and employs locals. Their trailers are built farm tough and the team pride themselves on their custom builds. Meagles also carry out trailer and caravan repairs while they stock a range of trailer components. 3 Howard Road, Murray Bridge. Can't decide on the colour. Is it a feature wall? What colour is your furniture? Okay. At Crowies, we ask all the right questions because at Crowies, we know paint. Crowies Murray Bridge, now at 189 Adelaide Road. There's nothing more rewarding than seeing the difference we can make in the local communities that we live in. Drakes are proud to be the sponsor of the River Murray Footy League. Drop into Drake's Murray Bridge for all your shopping needs. You'll find a great selection of the finest fresh food, quality meats, the little kitchen, fresh bakery, and if you need a Ruckman, you know who to call. Grandisons are a one-stop shop for all your workwear needs. All the big brands, FXD, Yakka, King G, Bisley, and Steel Blue, Bluntstone and Rossi Boots. No water too big or too small, Grandisons serving the Murraylands for 60 years. Need extra cash? Got a lot of empty bottles and cans cluttering up your garage or backyard? And get to Murray Bridge Recycling. They'll have you unloaded as quickly as a speeding bullet and cashed up in a flash. With Meningi and Strathalban Depot Zoo, turn those old bottles and cans into cash now. Call Murray Bridge Recycles on 8532 4551 55 Thomas Street. Nature provides us a precious liquid that comes from deep underground. It's a wonderful energy that we can use to cook, have instant hot water that never runs out, and keeps us warm on cold winter nights. And now everyone can enjoy the benefits of gas with L-Gas, no matter where you live. L-Gas, natural liquid gas. So good, we bottle it. Richards Auto Electrical are the Murraylands number one service provider in all things auto electrical. They specialise in alternators, starter motors, 
lighting upgrades, truck and four-wheel drive accessories and installation. This door has a wide variety of 12 volt products and accessories to choose from. When it comes to Toyota, they are the LC200 and brand new LC300 specialists. Call in and ask about a torque converter lock-up kit for your cruiser. Richard's Auto Electrical, 113 Morris Road, Murray Bridge. Welcome back to the final term here, about to get underway. The first semi-final, there's no tomorrow for the loser. The winner go into the preliminary final against the Southern Mallee Suns at Tarlan Bend next Saturday afternoon. And it's him, 7-11-53, just trailing by two points to my Palonga, 8-7-55. All in position to start, just wait for a few spectators to uh, dawdle off down the frog bar end here. Bury in the ruck. I've liked his uh, third quarter. Yeah, good third quarter for him. Mills there for Maipalonga. As we get underway. Line ball there. Mills fighting with Bury for it. They're over it. Three or four players in on top of it. We start again. This could be one hell of a 25-minute package coming up. Out of the ruck, Mills gets it forward. Stegmaier gets a fist in. Going through, Davies gets a, a kick forward. Fritchley gets it in the hands nice and clean. He spins around. Doesn't sit for Elliot. Elliot's chased. Play on, they say. He's in there again, Elliot. Oh, it's a push. It's a push. Wowee. He's an experienced player, Elliot. Yeah. So this is a big call. Kick nine for the year. Two points in it. Favouring my poke. Every kick on goal will be a massive goal if kicked. He's got it. Sammy Elliott. Big start to the last quarter. And it has probably been scoring in that end. I like would say so, yeah, pretty much all day. Yeah, that has been. Mm. Snuck out to um, the Maipo huddle at three quarter time and a bit of ranting and raving going mm -hmm. on. I heard it from here, didn't have to walk over there. <laughs> <laughs> but um, one of the key messages that was put across was um, enough of relying on Klusky, Davies, you know, those top end guys. Everyone needs to contribute. Yeah. They weren't happy with that third quarter at all. They thought it was the worst quarter they played all year. So they want to lift from everyone across the board. So Bury. Wins the tap down. Another stoppage. So it's 7-11-53 imps. Maipo 9-7-61. Last quarter of the first semi-final here at Meningi. Maipo go forward again. Looking for Homs. Right. Uh, Declan Fritchley. Imps are working the marsh factor. Has to come back inboard. Right. Stings. Sticks it around, but Gotch is there. Sticks it back in. Looking for, oh, it's a Mark Stegmaier. Clark Stegmaier. He's been pretty consistent. Just look at the hunting a bit more near the Tigers. The Stegmaier's a big kick, so the distance is absolutely no problem. And it's normally a pretty reliable kick too. Five for the seat for the year, but I've seen him kick more goals than that. <laughs> it just missed it to the left. This so wasn't it. much in it. Wow. It takes this score on a 9 8, 62. The Blues need a spark. I still think Montgomery to the middle would be a move I'd make. Yep. Agree. We're just waiting to fetch the ball. I thought those nets was going to stop all this. 
Yeah, well, it would have if they hadn't kicked it over the top. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so Montgomery to bring the ball in, as we mentioned. Your thoughts, Butsy, bringing him further up the ground. He's going to take off, come this side now. Short, hits up Sandwich. They get it on the overlap through Mitchell Lean. It runs it out of trouble. They need to get in front. Norman gets in front. From behind is a punch by Housen. Cleared there by Altman. Underneath is McKay. Can't complete the mark. Goes up with one hand. And we have a ball up right on the 50 arc there. Elliot getting busy here for the Tigers. We can be that spark. Bury just bodies out Fritchley. Going through hard as Gogol, but he's not going to go too far there. And that's a few times now where Ims have gone long off half back to a tall forward. And they just haven't any, had anyone at the fall of the ball. Bury taps it. Tackled there by Marsh. He rolled with him. Yep. So we ball it up again. Oh, good fist there by Fritchley. Elliot tries to get it through. Smothered by Gogol. Ball's pinging around. Going through Hardy Samlich. Gets through the pack. He does. They get it out through Dace. Dace just throws it on the ball underground. That'll do. Harrafield trying to hold position there. Gets it up. Trying to go through Samblich has worked hard to get through. He's caught one high, Sean Samblich. Good hard work, well done to him. He can use it on the outside to Penfold. Penfold breaks the tackle. Has to use the lean it though. Lean it can go round one way. He gets into traffic and he barrels it forward. But it's going to be all Maipo underneath it. Using his body as Mills. Can't take the mark. Going through hard is Lucas Young. Nudged off the ball. Ducks his head, the oh. player there in Morris. Oh, oh that's oh. not too high, I don't think. No. He's paid it. So back to Davies. Davies wants to play on, just sits it up. Lean it. Just uses a bit of body. They're going through Wilkins as hard. He gets onto it now. He can turn around. He can kick it out of trouble. He does. Fritchley's underneath it. So's Klusky. Klusky, Klusky. Fritchley back onto it. Fritchley's cracked. Oh, he's gone. That's all. He's gone. It. It's a throw. It's a good play. I tell you what, this boy's had a really, really good game. Jack McKay. So McKay. Oh, he thought about <laughs> it. And stopped. He propped. And we'll go back and have another think. And McKay, the left footer, just lifts his eyes. And uh, big Louis D. Michelle comes steaming through. Need a big last quarter from Louis D. He's going to just hand it off to uh, Gogol. Gogol's going to swing onto that left. Drives it in long. Big pack of players. Harrifield was there. Oh, this is Carter Norman. Sells the dummy if you don't mind. Puts it on its way. What's he done? Missed it. He's missed it. Big opportunity. <coughs> big opportunity for Imps there. And you can see Imps have really made a point of trying to put speed on the ball. Yeah, handball receives. Get it in there quick as they can. No tomorrow, so you've got to throw caution to the wind, don't you? You can't play safe. Oh, well, it's going to be untouched. It is. Sam Mitchell will bring the ball in. So here's Blue's chance to try and square it up a bit. Still eight points behind. Only six minutes gone in this term, the final term. So the tension's building. Sandwich winds up. It's a kick under the area. Who's going to mark it? Dallas is going to take it uncontested. Oh, where did the Maipo defence go? And I tell you, if someone's having a shot, I think, out of today's form, this bloke is the one you'd want to, t want to kick the ball, but... Yeah, big chance for the young fellow to step up here. Obviously been on the fringe of the disagreed grade side, and this is a really good chance for him to really put a stamp on the game. So you've got a good shot of the camera there, right over his shoulder. But RMFL TV, Kyle Dallitz. And he's oh, Dallitz! He sprayed it. So these misses have been very costly for the Blues. That's 7.13 for the afternoon. Bad kicking's bad football. Jeez, he waved, he waved, he waved that around. around everywhere on the way in. Mm. Certainly he did. So Mitchell Bowley will bring it out. Commentary side, flying up there, Wilkins nearly marked the ball. Sandwich is over it again, needs support, gets it. It's contestable. In there's Klusky, his trouble. In there's Hine as well, trying to burrow his way through. And Sandwich is really trying to um, impose himself on this game. He's had a few touches here early this quarter. So Mills and Bury. Mills gets it back cleverly. Well done, down to Davies' oh, throat. It's going That's back. a spiral punt. Go back. And it's gone in the arms of Nathan Wright. So Wright. Now, Robinson might have realised what was going on there and started the back pedal, but didn't. Montgomery has to hold it up. He's got Penfold on in the middle here, ignores. Oh, he stops, and he's gonna, he was going to come this way, and then he changed his mind at the last minute. Stuck it right out there for Jacob Rance, and that's a magnificent kick from Montgomery. So Jacob Rance 
Well, I'd like to see him up the ground because I think if he can get his hands on it further up, he'll be yep. dangerous going inside 50. Yeah, oh, a good sure. kick. That's the sort of kick you're talking about. Absolutely. That's what he's talking about, all right. And he sticks it onto the left boot. Oh, mismatch. Oh, it is. Oh, Johnny Boris. Big punches from in defence there. Lewis has to get his head over the ball. He does. Wow. Yeah, just that forward functioning there. Once the ball hits the deck, butts in, there's no one there. No, and even with Gogol there, with the handball, with the roll and play on, it's a, it's a long entry only sort of 40 metres out. I'd rather see you hit up target and then hit the goal square. De Michelle swats it, tries to get it behind. Going through hard. They're going to get out of trouble here, Maipo. Oh, Rance is in the way. Was that high? No, no. Solid tackle. So ball's held up just outside the 50 arc here at Meningi. We've gone eight, nearly nine minutes. No tomorrow for the loser. Might be hanging on by seven points. Tap forward by Mills. Looks like he's going to rock the last quarter, Mills. Gogol in there. Loose ball out to Sam Rich. Gets around. Whistle. There's a whistle hanging on. Might have been Gogol. It is Gogol. So he's really imposing himself on the game. Yeah, there's a couple of those. He's probably one of my better ones for the Blues today too. Gogol. Oh, he's got Louis Demichel there. He could have taken off and had a shot. Could have. Got Dallas out there on his own. So Lou D. Michelle, who's the skipper. You want to talk about trying to kick a captain's goal? This will be the one. Let's kick six for the year. He's got the leg in him. Yeah, we have the journey. Just needs a little bit of faith in it. Lou D. Michelle, 10 minutes into this final term. Gets underneath it, looks straight, but it's fading. And what else but a point here? Just to go with the theme of the day, seven goals, 14, the Blues. Wow. Go to 56, trailing Maipo, 9-8-62 by four points. So Maipo, six points, sorry. Yep, six points, one straight kick in it. So Bowley, long, long kick onto the outer side. And it gives it Maipo a chance to run here. And away goes Klusky, takes a bounce. Look at Lean it after him. Look at yes, Lean it after that's him. That's good, patient leader, but Klusky on full burst. The big men have to go to work here. Robinson, right. Oh, did he get one in the back? No, he didn't. Oh, you've got to be clean. They, they've kept their feet here. The ball comes out to Stegmaier. Stegmaier, can he kick the goal? He hits the oh. post. Hits the post. He had someone inside too there. Wowee. That's lucky too. Yes, he had someone inside, but Marsh with the fumble there just let Maipo in as well. The Gogol brings the ball in. Dallas deep. They'll try and crowl him in here, uh, the Tigers. This is Young. Good mark. Elliot right on the spot there. Hold him up. So they're going to come across here, the Tigers. They're going to try and work their way out of it. So there's a ball in the air. Over the back hind. Reads it better than anyone. Here's is Gotch. Gotch has to wait for it to come down. He gets it cleverly. Looking forward for some mark. And it, oh, can't mark it was Dallas. Fritchley. Elliot uses Fritchley. Bangs it on the left. What sort of a kick is that? Just look, look like it was right on target. They're going to get out of it here, the Blues through Rance. Rance can take off. He needs a target, though. Does hit it. Hits Dallas. Dallas right through the centre of the corridor here. At Meningi, they need to get moving. Mike Longer got numbers back. They can use right. So Nathan Wright, half-back flank. Going to go back into the middle now. Just saw Gogol. Gogol can go and does. Benny Gogol just winds it up on the left there. Great kick. Oh, and he finds Harrowfield of all players. Harrowfield on the right boot. Saw Johnny Boris up. He can't quite get there. Oh, what can happen? Carter Norman's there. All of them are there. All the big guns. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. No. <sighs> no. He only looked like he had an opportunity. Well, Jeez, we, it's, it's a bit end-to-end -end at the well, moment. We, but neither side doubt. can finish. He's got the benefit of the doubt there, Josh Hine. Tapped away D. Michelle. Davies gets rid of the tackler, but he just has to lay it off. Ball in. Tense match here. The Blues need a couple of goals. And they're doing all the attack in the Blues. It's just about played on their terms at the moment, but they can't seem to put the score on the board. Swatted back by Di Michelle. Gogol again is in there, bullocking hard. They're just going to get out of it, settle it. Well done, Homch. Let's play on. It's called play on. They didn't play to the whistle there. Can they get out of trouble here? Oh, this Kirshner's in trouble. Gets it over to Homch again. Homch has got the footy. He's gone with the ball. And we're going to have a ball up. Mm. 56 to 63, favouring Maipo. 13 minute mark, last quarter. First semi final here at Meningi. Maipo, oh, did he get one high there? No. Let's give him another ball up. Lots of he tension. Have his head down. 
What's going on, Buzzy? You got a oh, bit quiet, Buzzy? I'm just it's soaking just it in. Scrappy and scrappy and scrappy. It's looks like Nathan Wright's off with an injury. It's not a limp. Harrowfield off the ground. So stay calm here, Captain. Still a bit of footy <laughs> to be played here. So Gotch, oh, he overran it. Has to go back and get it. Oh, Rance gets him down. My pole away here. Oh, look at this. Stigma is on, and they can go through the centre gown. Big long kick in from oh. Wilkins. Wilkins and Robinson all by himself. Runs into an open goal. Put that one down. Great play from Ipo. All the forwards were high up there, Butsy. The yeah. defenders. They were, and uh, Martin just got caught between two there. He didn't know whether to push up and try and put pressure on or go back. And in the end, just got caught out. But geez, when they do get out in the open, Michael, they move it well and they move it fast. <laughs> Once again, Imps, bad kicking is bad football. Yeah, 21 to 19 score on shots, so that's only a couple more, but uh, yeah, the goals are definitely in Maipo's favour there. Jeez, Maipo really gr just ground some stoppages, 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 and then mm. they, every time they seem to be the one just to break from the congestion. Imps have got to dig something out. They've got to pull something out they had here because it could get away from them pretty quickly, the next goal. Maipu in there trying to get it off the ground was Klusky. Working hard, but it's turned over. Wilkins throws it forward. So it's one-on-one -on -one underneath. Bouncing ball forward. I'll tell you what, Maipu longer. That they get gogged side. Dalitz has caught it. Oh. He's caught with the hands. Robinson. Oh, tried. Couldn't get the kick. He's oh, gone for ball. holding the ball. They take off. Oh, oh no, this, this, could be, this could be they're a mess. Mark it up. This could be a mess. That's it is. It. No, he's missed. missed it, Davies. Oh. What oh. happened there? That was an... Comedy of errors, Butsy. I took my eyes off for two seconds. No, tried Next to play thing, on. ball's on the ground and Michael well, having a shot at goal. That was a big let off right there. And I just don't know whether Gibbs have got that midfield mix right at the moment. They've got Harrowfield in there and they've got uh, Marsh in there. I think, you know, I know Dement saw. Is it worth throwing him in there? Is it worth throwing Montgomery in there? Sandwich has sort of stepped up. Penfold to bring it in. Tell you what, that's going to go close to the line too. Oh, it's on the pushed full. it on the full. Wow. He kicked it way too good. He did. That's way good. too good, it was bad. So it's the King. Housen, who wind up, put it in the hot spot, looking for an aerial contest. Honch. Who's up? Honch can't get the, the second bite. And it's an arm wrestle. Still 10 minutes left in the match. But Imps need three goals. And just the way things are going, it's not looking very good for them. Beery gets up and down, but he doesn't touch the ball. Over the footy, Marsh trying to pick it up. Penfold gets it up. Out to Marsh. Marsh handles it forward. Not to know any but Payne. Payne just keeps it in. It's a live ball in the Maipo area. Going back with the that front on contact, I would have thought. But anyway, not today. This is the Harley Montgomery. Gets oh, caught. Tackle. They're in trouble here. They're sweeping the Tigers. Gotch is in there. Took his legs. He's going to be taking his legs. Took yeah, that, his legs. That pressure from Maipo. We saw it all last week, and it's been patchy this week, but at the most important time, it's stepped right up again. Oh, it's got short. Oh, it's got three of them. Oh, they're raffling it. They had their deck chairs out there. Homs is on in the pocket. Kirshner. Kirshner with the footy. This should be easy for him after that snappy kick in the, <laughs> in the second. Degree of difficulty. So we're at the 17 minute mark. It's 57 to 69. Charlie Kirchner's just taking a lot of time off the clock here. They've been challenged here, my foe, but to kick this one, you just about call the curtains, I reckon. See what he can do. Lines it up. No, no. Didn't stick it out. Had to go left hand goal post, didn't he? The network then. <laughs> yes, good. Good pick up. So <laughs> lean it to bring the ball in. He's waving him up. He's got Harrowfield in the middle. Calling for it. He's going to go for him. He's a workmate of this. Oh, in there's Hine. Oh, it's gone Gets up the top of Gets in the back. Harrowfield will receive the free kick. Penfold's put to the ground by Gotch. There's a bit on there. Harrowfield short. Marsh is on. Needs to get on his bike, though. The Marsh factor. No one's leading up at the football. Imperials. Everyone's running away from Yeah, there's a big hole to run into there. He should have just dropped it into there. Someone, oh, Rance. Oh, good oh, that's mark. a good mark going back. Oh, no. Hasn't completed it. Rance off the hands. Sits it up. They need a big catch here, the Blues. 
over the top. They're going to get out of it, the Tigers. Loose footy. Lean it. Gets it. Nice pick up, Lean it. Solid tackle. Play on's the call. Oh, it didn't have it. And it's a high tackle. It's a high tackle. And Housen received the free kick at half back. So the King, as named by the captain. That's right. Just King uh, Carey. Just uh, pulls it out to Jake Altman. Altman looks up. Lots of one-on-ones down the field. Except and for Gogol. We need a best on. We do. And I just want to see what happens a bit more. I'm, I'm liking Clark Stegmaier. Uh, Pat Davies has been good um, for, for my poke. Uh, I like Bury for, for uh, Imps. So the ball goes out of side. Bury just had to put the body yeah, in. He needed to get to the ball. He needed to get to the ball. That was Sticky Nicky, I reckon. They're on here. Robinson. This is Robinson. He's been dangerous since he's moved forward. He's looked really good. Yeah, this guy hasn't been bad either. Robinson just hits up Mills. Strong hands from Mills. They want it in long here. Put it in long and put the pressure on. Charlie Kirshner. Kirshner can go now. Yeah, the numbers out everywhere. Oh, they've got uh, Altman on the out here. Beautifully done. Altman can stop and pop, and he's got Pat, um, Davies on. Davies has got it now. Now Davies can go back. Have a set shot on goal. 20-minute mark, 57 to 71. Uh, Butsy, can we just have your thoughts on who you're liking out there, Percival, for my play? Well, I think this man's been exceptional again today. The last two mm. weeks, he's really been impressive. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards that. I, I think he's probably one of the ones that uh, is sticking out for my play for me too. Yeah, and I just think Clark Stegmore did a lot of hard work early on. That's why I was just liking what he's done today. Big, he's gone to the line here. And we've got a whistle go. It's a holding free. Going to Maipo. Robertson, isn't it? I reckon yeah. it is. Yeah, it's Robertson. Yeah, he's been super impressive. Look at, and once again, you probably look across the board and they've yeah. all contributed. Even effort. No. And if there's a time no. of the year where you want everyone to step up and contribute, it's in September, that's for sure. And yeah. The last two games, they've got it right. I don't know, like, the Blues have got the energy to pull out of this. No. Five minutes, so probably six, seven minutes to go. But, um, just not picking up the vibe at the moment, but... No, they just just seem to have flattened off. And I think, you know, just the fact that Maipo were able to get that easy shot on goal there sort of shows that maybe the steam's gone out of it for them. So ball up here, just on the Maipo side of the centre. Going through hard as Lean it. I'll tell you, probably one of the Bimps best players. Yeah, agree. Mitchell Lean it. I agree. Going through hard. Well done. Oh, Bowley. Clever. Here's his hind back there. Oh, that's... Um, oh, the, the King. Housen. He's turned it over here. So here's a chance for the Blues. They can get over the top. They do. Here's a chance for Jacob Rance if it sits for him. Oh, if that goes through the points, it's going to be a... <laughs> oh, he's got it, Jacob Rance. Oh, so the Blues... They're still in it. There's a pulse. <coughs> they're still in it here. There's a pulse. It was on the red arc. He had to work hard back then too. Oh, I thought that kit that that ball was going to chip and roll and just go through the behinds, and it would have been just an indi indicative of their day. But mm. they live. They 22 do. minutes. A quick goal here will be very, very interesting. And once again, another goal from turnover. Yep. So Bury in the middle. Nine points the difference here. I was actually about to um, talk up Toddy Housen too. I think he's looked much better down back than what he was up forward. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, just made that skill error so they there. they put a prime mover. They've thrown Lean into the middle. I don't like mind that idea. Lean it, Sandwich, Gogol, and Bury. The Tigers. They've got Wagonet in there. Gotch. Klusky. Line ball. Ball swatted forward. Into his mole. Picks it up. Can get it around. He throws it on his left. But it's going to be an uncontested mark. It is a contested oh, mark. Well done to Altman. Jake Altman. Solid mark there. Going back. It was a big mark. And had so a bad day, Jake. This is where they'll control it. They will just get short passes. Yep, lead up kicks like that. Because they drilled at it. They practice it, you can tell. And this is where Kirshner, if you're Imperials, just get up the ground. You need to man up now. Yeah, get up in front of the ball. Yep. 
crowd it up and try and force them along down exactly. the line. But yeah, if you're my foe, just keep doing this. Take time off the clock. Exactly. So they go long outer wing. Pack there. Coming through hard is Gogol. So it's going to be another stoppage there on the outer side. Balls up now. Oh, the oh. Ruckman completely missed it. It just be the junk time. So we'll, they'll just try and cause stoppage after stoppage. My pick. Imps have to have an answer. They have to have someone out. And they've got a spare behind the They need an well. exit. 63 to 72. Imps are going to just move it out now. Now's an opportunity. Gosh. And they can go here. That oh, was smothered. assembly. That was a big smother. My pope. Ball just comes out loose here. Oh, they ran into a brick wall. And it's going to be a ball up. He's worked hard in this last quarter, Sean Sandwich. But he has. He's been electric around the footy and, and really clean as well. That's probably what stood out for me. The ball's back in play now. Bury again. Maipo Gotch just gets it forward. Ball's going long here. Homs has an opportunity. He's just going to get a free kick. Hanging on over the head. So Sticky Nicky. His old team from last year into the grand final next week as well. Oruru. Oh, good mark was that, Robinson. Not paid. 24 gone. Mm. So there's probably about two or three minutes left in the season for someone. Uh, it looks like it's going to be... My Palonga will probably live for next week. Just the way the clock and the momentum's going here. Plenty of players around the footy playing right into Maipo's hands as they watch the clock tick. So who are we going to go with? I think Davies. Davies. Yep. Well, it's, it's two to Davies. It's Pat Davies. Well, what's happened here? We've got Luskin's a goal. Luskin's kicked one from the, from the stoppage there. He's been held Luskin. well all day. And he's finally got out, got out, shoulders out. And that's the uh, final nail in the coffin, I'd say, boys. Be, yep. yep. That's it. Here it is on the red arc. Davies. I mean, Klusky. Klusky. And... Imps have done a pretty good job on him all day. He hasn't been able to get a lot of ball out in the open where he's really damaging. Um, but, yeah, you can't keep a, a great player down and he's uh, kicked Maipo through now to the prelim final. So we've had an absolute magnificent day of football here. At the MCG today, started with the 13s. It's it just close matches. Been fantastic games right through. The quality of football is doing fantastic. And we will be at Tail and Bend next Saturday. You want to get ready? And then the following Monday night, it is male medal night at um, at the Murraybridge Racecourse, the Thomas Foods Murraybridge Racecourse. Here's the smiley car wash winner. Davies takes his third bounce out of the middle, goes down the wing, puts it inside 50, looking for one-on-one. -on -one. There's a bit of a hanging-on free kick. And it's going to go to Daesh. will receive the free kick. Deep in defence. I'm sure what he's going to do with it. But might look at all the numbers up there. Capture it. Looking for Gogol. Gogol's uh, nudged under the ball. Play on, they say. Wilkins is caught with it. Getting around Davies again. Pumps the ball in. McKay. Can't get over it. Oh, what a that might up. be Robertson, I reckon. Oh, Robinson. Oh, wow. That's a sensation. They're just kicking wow, him from wee. anywhere. That's a goal of the day for Duttons. Absolutely. That's his third for the day. How's his pick-up? Was it Robinson? Yes, it is on the red, red, is on the red arc. I'm not oh. sure if it was Robinson. Yep. Yep. It was? 99% yeah. sure it was Robinson. There you go. He's been um, very good after his move up forward. Yeah. It's a yeah. master move from the... You uh, get ready for the... the coach. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Yeah, you're ready to go. I'm ready to go. good to go. I'm wide up. You're wide up. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Mike Longer kicking away here. 12, 12, 84. Um, Imps 8, 15, 63. And they rue some opportunities, in, especially in that third quarter. Some shots at goal, the Blues. Mm -hmm. And um, bad kicking's bad footy, and um, you pay the price. And Mike have been the, probably the stronger side all day as well. They get it down. Davies in there again, going through hard. Gogol, and that's the siren. And my Palonga Tigers through to the prelim final. They'll take on the Southern Mallee Suns next week at Tail and Bend for the Blues. That's curtains for 2023. They'll go away and do some homework. And the Smiley Car Wash player of the day will be Pat Davies. And uh, my Palonga have run out victors here, 12-12-84 to Imps, 8-15-63. We'll get hoodie this.
saddled up, ready to go shortly. Butsy, what's your uh, final summary of the match? Uh, you know, it was a, a real grind between the two in the first half, I thought. You know, Imperials, a lot of skill errors by foot. Uh, allowed Mifo to kick a few goals. That third quarter, uh, you spoke about it then, mm. Snelly, you know. If Imperials had kicked straight, you know, it might have been a bit of a different story. And we've seen it even in the AFL finals this week. You know, the sides that haven't taken their opportunities, it comes back to bite you. And Mifo in that last quarter, you know, Imps came early, but in the end, Mipo were able to get that running game going, get outside, and um, they're exciting to watch when they're up and about Mipo longer. And we knew the back six, too, was, uh, was a great job. that They were always going to be tight, Mipo, to try and get goals. So they only conceded eight goals here today. Mm -hmm. And we just hand over to Matty Hood and Paddy Davies. So uh, we've got you there, Matt. Over to you, mate. Mate, thanks very much. Uh, again, Paddy Davies, we're having these chats. Congratulations. Smiley Car Wash, Player of the Day. Make sure you keep these cars nice and clean. Uh, mate, uh, what an unbelievable game. Yeah, it was hard fought from the get-go. We knew it was going to be hard. I think we got on top of them early. I think we just held that. They started failing a bit under pressure. And we just didn't run away with it, but it was a tight game. It was good to get away with it. Mate, um, Stevie was very focal, uh, you know, in the uh, at three-quarter time. What was the key message he said to you? I think we knew, we knew we could win it. I think we just dropped off in that third quarter. It's give a little bit of hype up that fourth quarter, get over the line. We've had too many close games where we've gone down. It's good to actually get one. Absolutely. Um, you feel the momentum. It's it's building for Mipo, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think that yeah, last five games you know, it's getting better and better. And you know, the competition only gets tougher, so it's gonna be a hard couple of games. Big game next week, Talon Ben versus the Suns. Yeah. Who's that? Yeah, it's against the Suns it'll be. At oh, Talon, at Talon yeah, ben. Yeah, so next week, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be a difficult one. We last time we played and we got touched up a little bit, so we've got to fight back this time and hopefully get up over him. Mate, congratulations. It's going to be a massive game. Congratulations. You were outstanding today, uh, along with uh, a lot of your other teammates as well. Thanks so, so much, mate. Uh, good work and uh, congratulations. So there we are. Pat Davies, the Smiley Car Wash Player of the Day. Uh, outstanding game from him. He'll be able to use it on the way home just down the road. Uh, hoodie, won't he? Yeah, no, he's got to go to Clarence Gardens for uh, that. Clarence Gardens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well done, Hoodie. And uh, that just about finishes us off here today. So it's been a big weekend of footy once again. Thanks, Butsy, for joining us in the box. No, thanks for having me again. And thanks to Johnny and Chili earlier on here. Steiny in the uh, commentary as well. And Wayne, Griffo, uh, Denise and Mary Lou on production. Jimmy there with the scores and the coin toss. And the hilarious jokes. Unbelievably funny. <laughs> Wayne Owen and Soph on the camera. Um, hope you've all enjoyed our coverage. It's been a massive day of footy. And RMFL finals will continue on next week where we go to Talon Bend to watch the preliminary finals to see who gets a shot at the big one. But from here in the box, it's bye for now. We'll see you next week.